Good morning, folks. How is everyone doing this morning? I believe I'll be doing this solo today. I'm not sure exactly. Good morning, Anthony. How are you? I'm not sure if you're still here, but thank you for saying let's go. Unless my time is off. So, how is everyone today? So, good morning. I actually got up by myself for once today, so I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, so let's see here. So just in case anyone wants to jump on the chat, there's a StreamYard link. But if not, let's see here, what am I doing? Let's get some work done. How is everyone though? All right, let's check out the eBay's. Actually, how cold is it today, first of all? Not too bad, 44 degrees. I can handle that. Usually a lot colder. Uh, lots of messages. Okay, they can remove the feedback. Hey, Leroy, how's it going, man? I'm not sure if you're on the road or not, but either way, have a safe trip. Hopefully everything is good. Yeah. All right, sound is good. I had to check that. Cool. Time to get some stuff done. Let's see. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? I actually checked out a couple of shows yesterday. I caught a bit of Paul's. I caught some Tommy and Tracy's. I think I caught another one too. Did I? I'm not sure. That was yesterday, the day before though. Uh, uh, uh. 
I'll take that. That's fine. Hey, Anthony. How's it going, man? I heard you're back working right now, so I appreciate you stopping by. Much appreciated, man. I eliminated one of my negatives and one of my neutrals and also checked on an issue I'm working on still. I'm working on still. Nice. See, I told you if you just talk to them, they'll get rid of it. Good job, man. And if they didn't get rid of everything, call back again and just ask them again. It doesn't hurt. They'll do the same thing again. Yep, I'm always sleepy. What can I say? Six, yeah, it's about 6.20ish around here. I usually wake up in about three hours mentally. That's very cool, though, Leroy. Hopefully that helped. Because now you can do promoted listings. You can do all that other good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. eBay's customer service, I think, is getting a lot better than it was. They actually talk to you now. And if they don't, the good thing is to kind of get off the phone with them politely and then call right back. You'll get somebody else. I was on the phone with them yesterday, like right after the show. Um, no, wait, yesterday. I oh, didn't have a show yesterday. Yesterday, early in the morning. And then... Um, what did they do? It was about late shipping. Uh, I have a shipment that I used, I don't know what they call it, international standard, whatever the new one is. It was a shirt, so nothing fancy. It was tracked, but once it got into Europe, it was going to Greece, I think. It just disappeared. It just says, you know, estimated delivery, like February 26th or something, and obviously it's a month later. So the guy opened up an uh, item not received. And then so I called eBay and I said, you know, what, how do I do this? What do I do? And they say, you don't do anything. Um, we'll take care of it from here. Um, basically because it's it's got one of those e-tracking numbers, e blah, blah, blah. And they s told me to go to a site called, let me see if I remember this. You track, what is it, track your shipment dot something other uh, i wrote it down so i don't have it here but anyways even when i tracked it in their website um it doesn't come up it just says 
the same exact thing. So they said they they just said uh, they put me on hold for like half an hour, and then they came back and said, "Don't worry, we got this taken care of." And they put the whole thing on hold. It wasn't the ten day hold that I had on the other item that I did last week, but they just said basically, "We're gonna put this on hold until it shows up, and if anything happens, if anyone text message, I mean messages you and says, you know, I want a refund, just message them back saying, eBay said to say that this is on route." And that's it. So that's what I did. I just messaged him and I said, you know, this is contacted eBay and they said it's on route for delivery. So hopefully that's taken care of. But if, when we had GSP before, if it got lost, as long as it was tracked, they would take care of it. But um, I don't know. This is kind of different. This is DHL they're using now for their international shipments. And anything going to Europe, I think there's issues certain countries in Europe right now because they have major issues with, I guess, the pandemic again. So I'm going to go on using, I think it's called, all right, a wrestling figure just sold. Anyone using whatever that new international eBay shipping thing is, you can track it. You just have to ask, you just have to put it in the right website. It's a DHL tracking number, I think. So, anyways. That was my call with eBay yesterday. I did follow up on another call a couple days ago. Um, and I think I'm going to end up... There's a shipment that was sent out. It was like a figurine or something. It has been more than 10 days. <clears throat> it still hasn't shown up. So I'm probably going to have to refund them because it's domestic. There's no excuse. Um, it's already been put on hold and it's about to come off. So, oh, well, I'm going to have to eat that one. It's about 20 bucks. I just don't bother international right now. All I hear are headaches, so I don't bother. I like international because sometimes these guys pay up for anything. I mean, even, um, I mean, I'm not saying you should gouge people but i get a lot of people from other countries that don't care about the price they just pay that's it and i always try and help them with the shipping too like if there's a if i'm off with something like that i'll go in there and i'll, and I'll check something out uh, good for you bud so um it's just i don't know i think you should do international shipping you might want to, there are certain countries that are kind of more prone to have issues. Um, Brazil, Russia are slightly more prone. But um, I think that, um, I don't know. If you just kind of take care of things, it's a little bit, um, I don't know. It's not as hard to deal with international shipping as you think. Love international. I love shipping. I've never had a problem. Yeah. With me, international shippers seem to not, I don't know. I shouldn't, I shouldn't stereotype, but they seem to just uh, maybe, I don't know, respect the American consumer. Um, so I haven't had, I have had issues, but usually they're pretty straightforward. It's like, this has happened. What do I do? Can you take care of it? And that's it. So I haven't had, in a, I did actually, you know, I did have one international scammer. There used to be a scam where they would always ask you for an invoice. And then once you invoice them and then you shipped it to them, there's this weird thing, how they could get out of paying for something, or they could say they ne never received it. Or oh, the prices, something was, I don't know if they still have that. Does anyone remember that? This is from years ago. If you invoice someone internationally, and then eBay actually told me don't invoice internationally, just tell them, you know, you can help them out. <clears throat> if, there's an, if there's an issue with like, oh, it was their address. It was an address thing. That's what it was. You would invoice them and the address would be different. And then they would say, well, that's not the address I have in my account. So um, that's a weird thing. So. Be careful. I don't think they do that anymore, though. But 
I like this so much, so much, so much, right? You don't have that loud guy waving his hands. There you go, Leroy. I'll wave my hands for you. I don't know if you can see that because if you're just driving, but yeah. Must be one of my only people selling sports cars in Nashville. See, do that then, man. That's a good thing, Anthony. If you sell, excuse me. If you're the only one selling international cards, I guarantee you there's a bunch of expats. There's a lot of people that, you know, buy American cards. You can't get those. I mean, Panini is an Italian company, right, though? Um, it's funny when I started seeing Panini, like, football. Okay, anyone that sells cards, let me know. When did Panini start selling American sports-related cards? I thought they only sold, like, Formula One, soccer, that kind of stuff. When did they start doing like football, baseball, basketball, that kind of stuff? Canadians love my cards. There you go. Yeah, I wish Canadians had better shipping. I feel bad. It's so close and us compared to Canada, our shipping rates are way better. That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe we just have much more traffic. I don't know. We probably do. That's probably, it. I mean, we have a much bigger population. That's probably part of it. I won't send to Brazil, China, or Russia. Yeah, the issue sending there is that what happens is the final third, once it crosses into the country, sometimes things go haywire. And there's other countries too. India sometimes is a little bit like that, depending on where it's going to. If it's going to the bigger cities, it's usually okay. Um, but yeah, I've had issues in the past. But then again, I've also had it where I've shipped to Brazil, China, India, Russia, lots of other countries. I've never had an issue. so. But yeah, you got to be careful though. I, I, got, I hate to say it, but you do have to be careful. They always give a positive feedback to you for some reason. I think it's because when you're buying in a, like, like they're not, I guess the normal eBay isn't, no, it, it would be something else. eBay.ca, for example, in Canada, or whatever the German, European one is. Um, so they want to get a good rep in, on our side, I guess. YouTubers get the most views from problems, so you won't hear good stories. That's stupid. I mean, you should know what's good and what's bad. I mean, yeah, I get it. It's like a, a big thumbnail, with like no face saying, I got screwed by eBay because or something. Yeah, I, I guess that gets a hits. But to be honest, most eBay buyers are good people. They just buy their stuff. For them. They're not going to bother with you. I mean, the scammers are the 1% of the 1% of the 1%, I guess. I don't know, but whatever. Why well, you should just watch me, Paul. <laughs> there you go. Leroy, I don't think is coming in today, actually, to be honest. I think Leroy is on the road today, and he's got a long drive ahead of him. He might chime in from time to time, though. I'm not sure. So, actually, what I'm going to do is, if anyone's interested... I'm going to put this in the chat. Uh, go ahead and you can jump on. And then uh, if you're interested in coming in, you can. You can um, let's see here. <laughs> Go, I lost the chat there. Okay, here we go. You're one of the most positive. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, Panini bought Donruss. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I remember that. Donruss rated rookies and all that back in the day. 2009. Okay, thanks, Anthony. I did not know that. I was always scratching my head when I, had, I started hearing Panini this, Panini that. Let's see here. Who's John? Let's see here. Third party countries. Okay. 
third party in some countries. Gotcha. I don't care about views. I want to just get my best information out all the time. And I love making fun of myself. Yep. Good for you, man. Pokemon's first US edition was 1996. Okay, this is good info. I think I sold some Pokemon cards from the early 2000s. That's probably the earliest I've got. Maybe that's the Japanese version. You know this mode guy gets really <laughs> coming to his own as a host? I don't know about that. I saw your show, man. I'm just copying you, uh, your show yesterday, Paul. The show is flowing so well today. Maybe it's the lack of interrupt. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, hello, everyone in the chat. Yes, I have to go pick up McDonald's in Atlanta. Yep, he's on the road today. He didn't skip out of me or anything like that. He's just family first. So that's all good. How far of a drive is it from uh, South Carolina to Atlanta? I'm guessing it's a good couple hours. I mean, he's going Spottenburg. I don't know where in Atlanta he is. Uh, Atlanta's pretty big. Thanks for stopping in, Mo. And Leroy says you don't watch any of that. See, Leroy, you heard it there first. I have proof from the man himself that I watched the show. Appreciate that, Paul. Thank you. Okay, he's got a two hour and 45 minute drive. That's from Spartanburg to Atlanta, but obviously I don't know where in Atlanta he's going to. It's Route 85, apparently. I'm not sure how busy that is. It's a haul, isn't it? Um, I believe, well, he's picking up Precious Cargo. I believe he's picking up his daughter today. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, I thought that's what I just read a couple seconds ago. I love Stone Mountain, Atlanta. I've been up to the Atlanta area once. It was kind of the suburbs. I went to some weird shipping convention like 12 years ago, something like that. And it was, it wasn't bad. Um, it was the suburbs though. It wasn't like downtown. Everyone tells me how nice like downtown Atlanta is, like the restaurants and everything. We were like, felt like pretty far out of it. Like even the hotel wasn't that big. So I doubt it was downtown. He's going to be driving back to South Carolina as a granny. <laughs> Got to protect the car. Yep. Yeah, don't blame him there. Take your time. You know, no point stressing and driving, you know. Especially now, see, if he's leaving now, it's around 9.30. It's right midday or early morning traffic so you got to be careful what you're doing especially if you got your precious cargo with you so Let's take it easily right drive safe happy trails all right let's see here I mean, it got me thinking about cards, even though I know very little about cards, like recent cards. I used to collect Panini soccer cards in, not really collect, I had some in the, I want to say the 86, 87, 88, around there. They were strictly soccer, I believe. People you'd never heard of, most likely. I remember I had a Gary Lineker 1986 Barcelona Panini, but I, I don't know if it was a card or a sticker. They used to do these sticker books. You guys remember sticker books? They used to have them here too. I had a, I had a bunch of 
sticker books. I had like, remember the, was it the Ghostbusters or the real Ghostbusters? You have a lurker live. I know I do. I think I have a couple lives. I had somebody jumping on in the background about two minutes ago. Um, somebody called John and good morning, LAG. How's it going? Man? Um, and they jumped off because I could see they didn't have their camera on. They didn't have their mic on. I wasn't sure who that was. So if that was you, I'm sorry. I just didn't click on it because I didn't, I don't know who, we, who you are. We've just got the boys Fortnite sticker books. So it's still a thing. Sticker books are still a thing. Cause I know kids love stickers. Like my daughter, when she was probably like, I don't know, three would stick. She still like my keyboard still has stickers like everywhere. I can't even get them off the table. They're stuck to the table and stuck to the keyboard. They put them everywhere. I remember we last, when we uh, traded in our last car, there were stickers all over the windows. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I uh, have a lurker. What's your key in making money? Uh, I don't know who this is. Who is this? Sorry. I know the 1977 Star Wars sticker cards are hot to great. Wow, I never had any of those. I had, mine were like mid to late 80s. Are the sports related or like cartoon show related? Like I had like, like I think like He-Man, Ghostbusters, Mr. T, did I have Mr. T? Or like a uh, Hulk Hogan, like wrestling ones. I, I forget what it was. I had a bunch of those though. I did have a Return of the Jedi one, I think. That was like 83, 84, or something like that. I don't know. If it says the real at the beginning, it's the real one. Yeah. The one I had, and this is not now. This is when I was like seven, eight years old. It was called The Real Ghostbusters. I remember it because I, I really wanted it badly. I never got enough stickers to fill it up, though. I really tried to fill it up, but I only got like three packs or whatever, ever. And then I think I gave up. And then the problem with the stickers back then is you'd always get the same one I think you get like three or four stickers in a pack, and then one of them would always be the same as one you've already got, which kind of sucked. I left at 6 a.m. I'm eight minutes away. Oh, wow. But it's going to take them a little while to get ready. Need to hurry back getting my first. Oh, my goodness. So 4.30 your time. You better. Well, we'll be careful on the road, man. Concentrate on the road because, I mean, wow, you, you booked your COVID shot in the same day you're driving all the way there and all the way back. You got a full day ahead of you then, man. Take it easy. Relax. Don't stress. Don't speed. I put stickers on my guitar cases like a dork. Well, at least you had a guitar case. I said I had, I've had a guitar or I had a couple guitars since I was like 18, 19 years old. I can't play anything the most i can play is like twinkle twinkle little star or like i think it's a like happy birthday or something something put and really slowly pathetic things i can look on youtube and figure out like how to play short little jingles but i can't play no like it like it would still kind of it's irritating my fingers still like they haven't calloused like my friend always makes fun of me he, he'll take my little uh amusement park guitar and he'll play like something real on it and say, oh, this is out of tune. And he'll tune it for me. Well, that kind of sticker book. These are the ones that have blank spots and you've got to get the stickers in packs. Yeah, um, yeah, they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of different from what you, uh, yeah. I, I can vaguely remember. This is like 1988 I'm talking about, Paul, a long time ago. And the stickers, like, they weren't even Europe. They were like kind of like shaped. They weren't even squares. They're like, circular and all weird shapes it's kind of fun as a kid but i haven't seen the recent sticker books to be honest personally but um maybe i should look into that is that big money sticker books now bought fortnite cards from dollar tree and sell them in my booths they also for two to 20 2.5 to three bucks nice if you sell on amazon i don't know if there's good money on that on amazon for sticker books it might be might be pretty good. But that's good money if you can buy them for a buck and sell them for three. 
Why not? Especially with no tax. I learned Rain Song by Zeppelin yesterday. It's a, cra it's a crazy tuning. Uh, sounds so good, freaking Jimmy Page. Is yeah. Jimmy Page, he used to play that big old guitar, right? I don't know what that is. How does it have, has two, um, I don't know even what you call them. <clears throat> it's like a double guitar. Like I used to see this thing, you would play it with like a violin thing, and he's like, he's like playing it like this. Yeah, those guys are nuts. A Les Paul, okay. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, I can't even figure out a regular guitar. You see, like, uh, like Jimi Hendrix playing the Star Spangled Banner with his teeth. Was that real? I mean, that's crazy. Uh, good stuff. Uh, okay, let's see what I'm doing here. See, every time I go to eBay, the whole top section is cards now. Crazy. It's all graded cards, too. You have the double neck. One is it's 12 string from it. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. I mean, one thing is... I'm guessing, it's, I don't know, is that harder to play the Star Spangled Banner, you know, period? Plus, he's playing it with his teeth. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's just trying to make it harder for himself, giving himself a challenge. Uh, oh, that too. I saw that too. I remember. Oh, goodness. Jimi Hendrix. Uh, like, I was watching, I caught a bit of... I don't know what award show. I think it was the Grammys like a week or two ago. And they did the segment at the end when people have passed away in 2020. And they had the little segment. They had different singers and people sang for them. But I noticed that when they did the little 20-second bit about um, Eddie Van Halen, they didn't have a guitarist playing. I, was, I would have assumed that they would have had somebody that, you know, would have gone and played some, you know, something of his. But they didn't. Um, that was kind of surprising to me. I figured somebody would try and, you know, memorialize him by playing something, but oh well. Because I know uh, Eddie Van Halen was pretty good too. Now it's the time to buy football cards. Okay. I have a bunch of old cards. I should pack them, but they're probably all messed up from the 90s, early 2000s. Like, Boxes and boxes of them that I just had. Uh, not for reselling, I just had them, but I don't know. Maybe I'll bust them out one day. He put acid in his headband so it would slowly release through his skin. Through his, oh, Jimi Hendrix? Oh, that's nuts. The guy was... Uh, <laughs> he's on another level. Ah. Uh. Oh my goodness. Seriously, man. Also buy PSA 9. It's cheaper and takes less time to send them in and still get a still get a nine. Okay. Wait, so PSA 9 is not you mean get them graded to a PSA? I mean or PSA 9 is the name of a brand. See, this is how much I know about cards. So you're saying like somebody already has it graded as PSA 9. Wait, no, PSA 9. Oh, yeah, it says PSA 9 is a mint. Is PSA mint 9 is superb condition that exhibits only one of the minor following minor errors. A very slight wax stain on a reverse a minor printing imperfection, or slightly off-white borders. Must be approximately 60 to 40 or 65, 35. Or better on the front and 90, 10 or better on the reverse. Near mint dash mint is eight, I guess. 
Okay. Everyone is focused on PSA 10. The nines are cheaper to buy on eBay. Send them in and wait six. Really? Okay. It takes six months now? Yikes. I do a lot of grading. I haven't done any grading ever of anything. I thought about it. I used to think about doing action figures, but I had a bunch of... Actually, I have one right here. I was going to list this now. Uh, I had a bunch of, like, vintage action figures. I used to sell more of these. I found this when I was rummaging through. This is not in gradable form. That's vintage He-Man. Wildor. And you can tell it's vintage, obviously, not just because it says it on the back. It's one thing. Uh, I don't think you see that. But this type of thing people used to grade. It's kind of annoying though because you have to ship it. I think I had a bunch. I would think ship it in something like this and then send it off. And they take forever and they charge you an arm and a leg. Hey, Tommy, how's it going, man? Great show yesterday. I actually did show up. I I never said I ended up not sending any of them in though. I ended up getting an offer and I sold most of them. That's the last one. Six months might be conservative. After yeah, I heard somebody was telling. Who was I think this was uh, actually it was Tommy's show. I think Ronnie was talking about that. How long it takes an express shipping or express something or other. Uh, uh, that frustrates me to hold up my money for that long. But then I guess if you know this stuff, you know, you know, you're going to make some money on it. It might be worth it. I don't know. I also don't have any good cards, so that's part of it. So also the Pokemon collectors collect all the grades. Oh, really? So they don't ma mind if it's like a, I don't know, a f do they do like threes, fours, fives, sixes? Is that worth something? If something is bent to heck, are they still going to buy it? I mean, I have a bunch of bent to heck, you know. 80s and 90s tops and Fleer. I mean, uh, I don't think they're worth grading, though. I have hundreds of cards of PSA longer than... Yikes. Do they send those back in batches, then, or do they send them back individually? Good morning, Holly. How's it going? <gasps> is this who I think it is? What's going on, everybody? Oh my goodness! He's even got a red van. You even oh, have yeah. a red, like, red interior van. Yeah, this is my little van. A little van? How big is the big van? Then? The big van's a two hundred and fifty. This one's a Transit. Oh, nice. Transit's good. It's a high ceiling, right? Yeah. Listen, I'm a professional V seller. What's that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to be able to talk. I'm here, but no I know I just told, I just told her aunt that I'm here, so I know she's going to make me come in. It's so funny because I'm in like so these guys are B B list celebrities. So her baby daddy is a it was in Jagged Edge was in the group Jagged Edge. He's in, nice. he's, he's in the group. So I'm at. Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They tour. They tour every weekend. All right. Cool. Yep. So I'm in his one of his houses and one of his girlfriends. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna get pulled. Um. And are you? Do you have your um? You gotta watch the kids. Um. You gotta go see the kids today. In about seven minutes, I'm gonna yeah, I'll try. I'm gonna try and make it as short as possible. You should probably just end it and then go live when you come back. They'll understand. Whoever's yeah. here, you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I, I prepped it a little bit early, so um, it's it's gonna be super short. Okay, I wish I can stay, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. No, no, no. Family first, man. Do what you got to do. Yeah, I didn't even think I was going to be here this early, to be honest with you. Yeah, you got up. Let me see, it's so it's like nine fifty-four. You made it all the way there. Yeah, I got up at five thirty. Dropped the wife <laughs> off at work and took this man. 
Yikes. <sighs> so, it is what it is. It's yeah. not, it's, it's not See, bad. Yeah. It wasn't They're bad. They're talking about your I, favorite I, thing here, man. They're talking about cards. <laughs> oh, I love talking about cards. Yeah. Um, Anthony, Anthony loves, Anthony must have a rain day today. We got to get it. Tell him um, he needs to give us the schedule because I can't be playing this game thinking that he's supposed to be working and I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> uh, now Anthony's probably, I'm guessing he's got, he's holding, he's got like a, a radio in one hand. He's, uh, he's got his, his mower in the other hand and he's kind of doing both things at the same time. Oh, yeah. People don't know they have to clean their own oily fingerprints off before. So, oh, my goodness. That's about cards again. Oh, cards? Yeah, that's why you have card sleeves and everything else. Yeah. Leroy's I big forgot who was. Oh, look at, the, look at the hawk. I see the a hawk right there. He's looking at a bird. Um, I That's why Um, I think it was Tommy that said it. And Tommy, if I know you're here. I think I saw you quick in the chat. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. Somebody said it. If it's if it's open, if it's an open package, it is used. Okay. If so, like for instance, you open a pack and it's a card, you can put new open box, but you touched it. It's used. Gotcha. No, that makes sense. I mean, if you can see the insides, maybe it's got a hole, yeah. So, only basketball I did this year was about eleven eighty six flare MJs. Nice. There we go. I can see the chat. Yeah, I sent in. Somebody bought a bunch of Yu Gi Oh, whatever that is. I sold some of those cards oh, like a week or two ago. Loose for like thirty bucks. Who knows what I sold? I probably. I'm probably getting ripped off because I don't know anything about cards. I pick up stuff. Yeah, I, I sold some country music cards that were sealed in a package. I didn't know, like, uh, I recognize, let me see who was on that. Billy Ray Cyrus. Uh, who else? Bunch of other people I didn't know. Oh, he's gone. A bunch of other people I didn't know. Uh, what other cards have I sold recently? That's a bowl of the 10th anniversary. You can buy cheap. They grade 10 easy and sell around 350. Yikes. No, just the regular 86 Flair. Okay. I buy Hall of Famers to grade. People are focused on Zion and Ja Morant. Well, I haven't got any of those, so I just have who knows what I have. Probably going to have to go and I pushed the wrong button trying to get out of the chat. No worries, man. Thanks for stopping by, Leroy. Drive safe. Do a reveal. Reveal on what? That regular 86 flare? Or. The only baseball I did this year was about 1186 flare MGs. Oh, okay. I don't know what I have. Might be buying your own island. Oh, you're right. The tenth year one is undervalued. See, I, I get nervous because I don't know enough about these things. I should start buying a few and just testing out the waters, though. Where do you guys buy your cards from generally? Are you, are you buying packs or are you what are you doing? Are you buying online, undervalued, on you underpriced, or maybe you're buying stuff that's already graded online on eBay that's you know someone's just trying to blow out? PSA 10 1986 Fleur Jordan sold for 700 grand this year. Nice. Do you think that's the top of the market though? I mean, from eBay. Okay. I buy my cars from the local. <laughs> uh, uh, there you go. Uh, that's good.
people don't know what they have. I buy card breaks. Okay, that's me. I mean, not that I have anything good, but if I did have anything good, I probably wouldn't know it. I mean, I, I would know, you know, stuff like Jordan, Zion, that kind of stuff, but anything even, you know, somewhat under the radar, I wouldn't know. Yeah, let go the basketball card. I did sell a lot that had a Jordan in it. It was kind of messed up, though, but um, it was 90-something Jordan. It wasn't 86. Mark and seen as high as that's what I'm hearing. 1952 Mickey Mantle, holy mackerel! So is this the most expensive card still? That um, oh my goodness, I'm blanking. It was a baseball card from like the 20s. Um, I've forgotten his name now. Anthony, I always get my car brakes done by someone. There you go. Always good to get your brakes done especially if you're driving long distance. <laughs> I'm looking up Jagged Edge, Leroy. They look uh, interesting. Hornus Wagner, you are, yeah, that's the one I heard of. Like, supposedly found, somebody found a Hornus Wagner in some random barn or garage or something, an attic, and it was worth, I don't even know how much it was, a lot. This swag there. And he played, oh, 1897 and 1917. Was he even that good? Was he a Hall of Famer? Bad at 329. Oh, no, he must have been. 3,400 3, hits, 100 home runs. Uh, yeah, those are. He won the World Series in 1909. Oh, yeah. No, he's a Hall of Famer. Yep, Hall of Fame induction, 1936. 95% of the vote. Okay. He hated tobacco, so he made them stop his cars. Supposedly, there was only there were only 10 made. I could be wrong. Who knows? I mean, how many Hornus Wagners are in existence? That would be, I mean, I bet that somebody's hoarding them. They do have them. Yikes. How does somebody have a Hornus Wagner from 1948? That'd be after he retired. Um, uh, that made them rare. Yep. I can see that. Yeah. There's no way somebody has a PSA 10 Hornus Wagner. Let's see here. 1.4 million was one that was sold. I think that was the highest it sold for. No, I'm wrong. 3.25 million, October. Yeah, 3.25. I'm reading that right now. T206 Honus Wagner sells for record breaking 3.25 million. What is T206? Oh, is that PSA's rating? So it's rated three. Oh man, seven o'clock. All right, I gotta be back. Thanks, Leroy. I will be back in a second. How's it going, Leroy? You reminded me. Yeah, go take care of the kids. Right, I'll try back. to stay. I'll try to stay here as long as I can. Yeah, do if what I'm, you can. If not, don't worry about it. Yeah. So, Anthony, I hear you guys talk about cards. I said I was trying to be funny, and I don't even know if Mo got it when you say card breaks. I said, "Oh, Anthony, I get my car breaks done by someone." Yeah, like I told you could view before, Anthony, I've done cards. Um, when I was a kid, I collected them in the 90s. What's going on, Cameron? How are you? Holly, how are you? Good morning. Holly, I see you everywhere. How's everything going with um, the reselling? Are you, uh, are you getting at least 10 listed a day? I haven't been able to check up on you. I've been a little busy. But I hope you're getting about 10 listed a day and your sales are getting better. 
and your fan is all set or your light is all set. Cameron must be getting ready for work. So I am in the outside of Atlanta, Georgia, um, about three hours and 15 minutes away from my house to pick up my baby. I haven't seen her in six months, so I'm excited. Um, you guys will see her from time to time if she wants to come on. Um, she's not as bubbly as me. She a little grumpy. She a little grumpy. She a little grumpy. She my baby, but she grumpy. But, um... What's going on, Paul? Good morning. Paul, great show yesterday. You're so cool and calm. You're just like, yeah, everybody. So, you know, this is Paul, the fl flipping sports guy. And, you know, my fiance, he always makes sure he says his fiance. My fiance and I, and, and you know, just wanted to come on for a little while and talk to you guys. You know, just really appreciate you guys, you know, coming back to see me. Really appreciate it. You guys, you guys are really nice. Oh, there's Leroy. Hey, there's Leroy in the chat. I see. You. Hey, Leroy. And then once in a while, he'll give me some shade. Oh, oh, I just got a sale. I'm not a loud person either, Paul, if you believe any of that. Uh, $8. But $8 is better than no dollars, baby. Well, take care of yourself, Holly. If you can't, if you can't um, list, don't feel obligated to list. Your, your health and self is more important than listing. Just you know, keep your eBay store up. And what I do is, if I can't do anything like today, if I can't do anything when I go home tonight, I'll just um, end some listings, try to do that, and then send some offers if I have any offers available to send. Um, to try to get a little bit, try to get a couple of sales. I try, I normally right now I'm selling about five to six things a day. Um, average about a little over a hundred dollars a day in my pocket, which is okay. Plus the flea market. So I do okay. Yell at the kids. I don't see you yelling at the kids. I see you like, hey, guys, you know, you really shouldn't be like that because I really don't appreciate you guys, you know, getting a little hostile. When I was your age, I used to go outside and play all day, and I never bothered my parents. Yeah, that's what I mean, Anthony. Like that's, I'll do that. I'll I'll go through and I'll see like what what flipped over today. So what past the thirty days it relisted itself. I'll end that, and I'll look at it a little bit if I have to. I'll look at it a little bit and then I'll um I'll change stuff like, but I normally don't. All I do is I try to um boost up the um. The, the blue circle. So I'll try to put some more things in the specs to make the blue circle bigger if it's if it's not at 100%. But besides that, I really don't do much change, and I don't change pitches or anything like that. I keep looking to see if I see my daughter come out. I'm probably going to run. I haven't seen her in six months, so. I won't run. I'll scare her. But her mom said she's getting tall. 
I talk to her every day, but I don't, you know, I don't see her standing up. So, and she belongs right down here in the south because she is slow. She is so slow. Like me, man, I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. I t- I message you, say I'm on my way. I message her an hour ahead of time to tell her I was on her way. And her aunt. And people, people just slow. I, I don't work well with slow. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, I've fought for this little girl, my her whole life. I've fought for her very, very hard. I went through a lot of crap, so that's that's my that's my seedling. And I gotta, you know, she. I would have stayed in New England, um, but she doesn't want to be with me. She wants to be with her mom. Uh, she gets away with a lot of crap there. Uh, maybe one day it will change, but I don't want to push her away. And it took me a long time to be able to get her just to come to see me. So for her to come see me now, to say it's okay to come see me is, is big, you know, especially when they get this age, 13 years old. They, normally they don't, they don't know they really, they have their own attitudes. So. Good morning, Joe Deals. What's up, buddy? Joe Deals is in the house. Leroy is in the car. Car. Van. Van or car? She's staying, hopefully, for a month. So the plans today are to drive back get her situated, get her internet all set for school. Her, her teacher knows that she was traveling today. So get her internet all set for school and um, get her comfortable with the house and stuff. She is a, she stays in the house. The only thing I got to teach her is daddy's not buying food all the time. Um, you know, daddy makes food. So her mother usually buys food every day. So well, she cooks, but anyway. So that's my plans. Did anybody get any sales over the night? I think I got three. Three sales last night. Like I said, my sales, my sales are weird. I get nothing during the day. Most of my sales, honestly... Come from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And they're, and they're all in state. That I mean, in country. That's what cracks me up. Is they're all in the country. They're not outside of the country. So I don't understand. I can't see you guys. If I transfer back, I will mess up. So. Drunks, drunks. I couldn't understand that. Drunks buy your listings. Listen, Anthony. I used to be one of those guys. I would order. So I'd wake up in the morning, or like three days later, and I'd get like stuff in the mail from eBay because I was selling on eBay. So I'd return it, and I was like, I was getting so much stuff. I was like, what am I doing? So now I don't buy anything from eBay. <laughs> yeah, Anthony, that I used to be that guy. I'm serious. 
I would buy like a lot of the junk that I have now, some steel memorabilia and um Leroy memorabilia. I have some stuff with my name on it. I bought a lot of that stuff on eBay back in the day. The house must be messy because they didn't ask me to come in. But I know they just got back in last night. So usually when you just get back in, the house is messy. Bama picking and grind. What's up? Yes, we are live. Mo had to go take care of his kids real quick. I'm on the road today, but I'm holding him, holding, uh, holding the show for him for a few minutes until I have to go. Um, this is our normal break that we have once a day. <laughs> they love you, Anthony. They do. They, they, they love you. They say, oh, this guy is always changing his stuff around. Let's see. All right. So, guys, I just got a message that I can go in. Um, I will. I'm gonna message her and tell her I'll be in in five minutes. I will be in in five minutes. I'm on a call. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I was um trying to do something, and I always mess up. But, guys, Mo should be back in a minute. I'm going to run inside. I don't want to be rude. Um, I don't want to be rude. I'm going to try to come back, Um, but we'll see. I'm probably going to spend time driving with my daughter. But I'll talk to you guys. I'll see you guys on Friday. Don't leave. Mo will be back in a couple of minutes. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Like always, you guys are awesome. Um, I had to go see my baby. Bye. All right, what do we, what did I miss? Okay. Hey, Cam, how's it going? Long time loud is when I'm yelling at the kids or on the baseball field. Nice. And listings is crazy how much it helps. I've been ending a lot of listings, actually. I started doing that. I used to do it years ago, and I stopped doing it for a while. I started again a couple weeks ago. It really, really helps, especially if you don't have any listings. If you're on vacation or something, you're on the road. End a listing and start it. It's an easy thing to do. Six sales last night. That's cool. Spot my listings. There you go. Hey, money is money. Let's see. Thank you, Holly. That was fairly good timing. 
Yeah, it took longer than I expected, but it took a little bit longer to get out of bed. My daughter is really, really quick. My son sometimes, but he was pretty good today. I gotta admit, so I can't complain. Saw you guys live and just wanted to jump in. Well, thank you, man. Have a great day too. I like to end and sell right before bed for the, some reason. My sales, my listings start mainly in the morning-ish. I guess that's when I list them in the first place. So that's why I have to start and sell them. I mean, start and, what do you call it? Excuse me, stop and start them a little bit um, more like in the morning, early afternoon time. Anyone is interested in jumping on the chat, you want to jump on here with me. I don't want to keep bugging Leroy because he's got to go, but you can if you want to. Let's see here while well, I'm looking at this. Let's go back to eBay. Oh, I got a new offer. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of that. Why not? It's funny that in the the eBay thing, it says this is a legally binding something or other. I'm like, no, it's not. If people don't want to pay for it, they won't. It's gradable. Wasn't gradable. I missed something. Sold an 81 Tops Montana for 800 bucks. Nice. Okay, let me ask you this. How, I mean, you can tell a card is gradable or not just by looking at it. Like, what if it looks okay, but, you know, it's older. It kind of is bent up a little bit. I have a Jerry Rice Montana picture double auto. I don't know what I have. I have a bunch of cards. I don't know if I have anything good though. PSA 8, I graded it. Man, how much are these grading costs? Let's see, PSA grading. I use jeweler's glasses to look at cards. Paid a hundred. Nice. Okay, submit cards. Cheap off Amazon. Turn, baby, turn. <laughs> Autograph authentication services. I do have one thing I want to send to photographs. Uh, Autograph authentication, but I haven't done it yet. That old Celtics hat that I have. So you print out the submission form, check the price, see the shipping cost, and then see the packaging guidelines. Yikes. This is a whole other world of stuff. My goodness. Okay.
Poor people hold things too long. That's probably that would probably be me because I wouldn't. I mean, I'm trying to get thing, rid of things a lot faster now. Anything, to be honest. Just get rid of it. It took me a w long time to get to this point, though. I was one of those poor people that would hold on to things way too long. How about all the people who bought the Sean Watson cars last year after his best year? Oops. Well, thank you. I didn't know a thing about buying his cards, so I didn't buy any, but I probably would have been one of those guys too, so. Oh, well. I didn't. I probably would have. I only invest in Hall of Famers for that reason. That makes sense. It's like only buying blue chip stocks or something like that, I guess. Long term game. Now he's in the news. I bought two Hank Aaron cards right before he passed. Yikes. Did those go up significantly? I'm guessing they did. Texans are likely looking at who to fire for not trading him when they could. Ugh. It's always like that, man. You get that one good year, and then it's hard to have back-to-back -back good years or, like, even three, four, five good years. Hey, Karen, autos, not cards. Sorry, okay. Hall of Famers who didn't die can't sign anymore. Oh, who died can't sign. That's true. I can't remember, won't tear his ACL. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hey, I've torn my ACL. It's not fun. I didn't do it on the football field, though. I did it at the work basketball court, which I shouldn't have been at. But it's okay because I was with my manager, so they couldn't say anything. If you want to ever want to play sports at work, make sure you do it with a, a manager and then uh, you're good because you, they can always get blamed for being there at the same time. If Elvis can sign, so can Hank. I heard Elvis and Tupac Shakur are signing everything. It's weird, man. Constantly. I don't know how those guys get around so much. They keep selling records and signing stuff. You get injured in, in Facebook when not perform the same. Facebook get injured and you can move into a different position or the bullpen. Yeah, that's true. Football, that's it. I mean, you can get injured and you're done. That's why the contracts are like that. I think baseball, you, I mean, you can get injured and write out your contract. Same with basketball. But football, I'm pretty sure, you know, they can cut you pretty fast. Or trade you or whatever. Unless you have, depending on your guaranteed, they're on that island in the Caribbean hanging out, making some music together. Yep, exactly. They keep coming out with new records, which is the funniest thing. Or Tupac did for a while. I have only so much guaranteed. That's why, that's why I want that fat bonus. I remember when Grant Hill tore his ACL, uh, like basically after signing, this was years ago. He signed, he signed some, I forget who he, he wasn't on the Pistons anymore. Where did he move to? Orlando? He was supposed to play with Tracy McGrady. And he was done. He didn't ever really recover from that. 
shattered his. He was on full salary, full everything. They couldn't get rid of him. Yeah, Park and Elvis work on performance <laughs> on the Vegas Strip. I know. I think I've seen them there. I think they're on Hollywood Boulevard too. Uh, it's amazing how they're everywhere. Elvis would be 86. Only 86? Really? I figured he'd be way older than that because he died in, what, 77, 76? Elvis. That's amazing. Only 86, huh? 35. Okay. Yeah, he passed away at 42. Yikes. Yeah, August 16th, 1977. Man, I figured he would be way older, but I guess not. I'm wrong. That's amazing. He may, if he was alive, he would. Maybe even still be able to sing. Who knows? Injuries are why the NFL doesn't give those full guaranteed contracts. Makes sense, actually, to be honest. Even the guarantees you hear about when they sign aren't actually good. Yeah, that's what I heard. Baseball and basketball, I've heard it's harder to, you know, once they sign, you can't really get rid of them unless you trade them. Yeah, um, it's hard to tell. I mean, they give out crazy amounts of money, though. So one of those signing bonuses would last me forever. My goodness. I mean, the amount of money is thrown at these guys. I think I read a blog that they sell merch on eBay, and man, I wouldn't be surprised. Why not, you know? Make your money. I mean, I guess if you're in college, you're not allowed to do that. But I think on... Uh, once you're a professional, you can, I'm, I'm guessing. Or they have their own companies, too, their own shoe deals, whatever deals. Everyone hated the baseball strike in 94. I remember the baseball strike in 94. That's why baseball players have awesome contracts compared to the others. Yeah, I remember going to baseball games for a buck. Everything was a buck. The tickets were a buck. This is 1994, uh, the strike season. I remember watching, you know, McGuire in his heyday for a buck in Oakland. We were talking to the players. Um, we were handing them over stuff to get signed. We got good seats, too, because nobody goes to Oakland anyway. Maybe they do now. But Oakland Coliseum back in the day, you can walk right in there. We would get seats all the way at the top. Obviously, this, you know, all the way down, it wasn't a dollar. But we would walk all the way down to the bottom. People freak out about the guaranteed money when a contract is announced. I laugh and say, wait for the breakdown. Those roster bonuses aren't actually guaranteed like they claim. Huh. That's, yeah. Is it that you're going to be in the roster isn't guaranteed? Or that, I mean, you have to make the roster to get the bonus. If you don't make the roster, you don't get that bonus anyway. So, I don't know. That's crazy. Mahomes' big contract is only at 30% guaranteed, if I remember right. Yeah, that makes sense. All these giant football contracts are, uh, I mean, 30% sometimes is on the high end, I think. I don't know. And Mahomes, I mean, I don't know if you can get a bigger name than him right now. I hated that strike because the Yankees and the Expos were on a collision course. The Expos, wow. And it was going to be an awesome to see. Oh, man. I remember the Expos. Are the Expos still around? So then the Nationals. Okay. The strike killed the Expos. Yeah. One of the best teams of all time. It was, it was awful for the fans. I've been to Montreal. I mean, the airport. I was there for eight hours. All French speaking. It was a rainy day. I remember that. I think I was like 16 years old. Um, yeah, that's my one time going to Montreal. 
Would have been nice to get out of the airport, but it wouldn't let me out. Mahomes, they were saying he was like 140 plus million guaranteed, but in reality it was only about 60 because a lot was the roster and workout bonuses. What the heck is a workout bonus? Uh, oh, is that based on games played or something like that? Or they don't have playoff bonuses or like if they win a Super Bowl, if they win X amount of playoff games. Destroyed Montreal, but that team was amazing. Yeah, I'm guessing the, the fan base in Montreal isn't what you can get in other cities. The Expos are the national. Yeah, that's what I thought. The Nationals. They took a Canadian team and they turned them into the Nationals. Ugh. That's unfortunate. I feel sorry for... Wow, that was 94. So, 94, let me see. Okay, they played till 2004. And then relocated to Washington, D.C. and became the Washington Nationals. Okay. The Spose or No Amores. No, no Samores? No Samores. NFL contracts are a joke. Yep. It's basically take whatever you can and run because you might not live to see the rest of that contract. So much money in football, still. I mean, if you look at the most expensive, let me see here, most expensive franchises. In sports, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Let's take Ford's Forbes list. Pedro, Larry Walker, Gary Carter, Alou Grissom, Wetland, Cliff uh, Floyd, all their prime except Gary Carter. Yep. Wow, Gary Carter is around 2004? Or is that 94? My goodness, he was... Wasn't he on the 86 uh, Mets, I think? Okay. Oh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, according to Forbes, let me see. Is this on value or is this on growth? It's sold now. Nike Florida Gators t-shirt. Okay. Football cards as a whole are undervalued compared to basketball. NFL is the most popular sport in the U.S. easily. We can see the most expensive franchise, according to Wikipedia, is the Cowboys. At $5.5 billion. That's the worth of the franchise. This is Wikipedia's 2020 rankings. Didn't that team have youngsters like Rondell White, too, on the bench? Probably. I don't know that much about baseball. Basketball is more global, though. Yeah, it is. I think they say basketball is actually the most global sport there is um because it can be played pretty much anywhere it's actually more global than soccer i think because it has the most growth potential still not just because it's so global but because it's still got room to grow and soccer is probably tapped out okay so top teams cowboys then the yankees then the knicks then the Lakers, then the Warriors at five. Those are the top five franchises in sports in the world, not just the country. Their starting pitchers weren't deep. But Pedro. Uh, oh, well. Damn. 74 and 40 that year. That's sad how one of, I mean, it's a huge event. We can destroy an entire franchise, though. How does that happen? 
Let's see, Expos, 1997, Martinez had 17 and 8 records. The Expos led the league half a dozen pitching categories, including a 1.9 ERA and 305 strikeouts and 13 complete games pitched. Yikes. Let's see here. So he was traded in 97. Yikes. Oh, wow. What are you going to do? I saw one person saying that they're going to pay me. They emailed me, I want to say 10 days ago, saying they'll pay me after they get their stimulus money. I'm only holding on because it's like, a, am guessing, a $165 toy that they bought. I don't know if they're going to buy it, though. Maybe I should just cut my losses and just put it back up. It's been 10 days already. How long do you guys wait? If somebody emails you, they sound semi-legit, but you just don't know if they're going to pay. I don't know. I usually don't wait unless I get a message. I have an automatic thing go that goes in after two days, unpaid item case, and then I just say, you know what, whatever. So you have this one guy it says, buyer's note, I received your multiple email messages. I was tied up at work and was unable to respond and pay you because I didn't have access to that eBay secret code in my office and I had to wait until I returned home. He's angry because he paid after, I think, three days. And we, we have an auto message that goes out after two days. And maybe eBay sent him a message after the first day. So I'm like, whatever, man. Don't be annoyed because you didn't pay. You walked out of Walmart without paying. It's not my fault. Would have loved to see a 22-year-old Pedro face the lineup in New York that year. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of New I had I had some friends, that, even over here in the Bay Area, big-time Yankees fans. Yankees fans are everywhere. I think they probably have the biggest fan base in baseball. I don't know. They are everywhere, though. I don't get any of the stimulus. I work too much. Yeah. So that's the thing with the stimulus. I mean, it's funny that the second you buy something, we, I mean, on anticipated money, I mean, I appreciate that they're buying, but at the same time, like, I don't want to have to wait a month. Tommy's who you ask on that one. Yeah. I don't know. 
Thank you, my stimulus check. I'm very poor. Uh, I think a lot of people are getting money regardless. So I've only had that a couple of times. Yeah. It's weird that I get the email. So I feel bad. Like, okay, I'll just wait a little bit. Good morning, Tracy. I waited four days and I feel that is overly generous. Yeah, this has been, like I said, I think about nine or 10 days. And I've got two emails from them. One the second they bought it and one like two days afterwards. And then I just, uh, I kind of felt bad. So I just left it. And it's something that's kind of, it's a high, high dollar thing, not just that, but it's something that does not sell. Don't, I don't get bids on it very often. So I'd be happy to see it go. But at the same time, I, uh, I should just cut my losses and relist it. They spend dollars to win. Always have. Fans appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, they should call it the, shouldn't call it the luxury tax. They should call it the Yankee tax, right? I mean, how much money have they spent? I mean, other teams get that. That's kind of cool that you have that. They should have, do they have that in every sport, a luxury tax? It should. I got a letter saying how much stimulus will be. I was like, why can't they just slide that debit card into this? <laughs> exactly, right? Oh, man. I don't get political, but it scares me when money gets given out like this. So I don't know. I'll just leave it at that. I just kind of feel like someone's going to have to pay for this eventually. Doesn't always work, but it looks like you are tr at least trying. Yeah. Yeah, good morning. Yankees came up with a luxury tax. <laughs> so, so they actually came up with the idea for luxury. That makes sense. Was it Steinbrenner? Oh, boy. That makes a lot of sense. NBA does, but they're a joke league when it comes to salaries. Yeah. I mean, they have, they have minimum salaries, right? So the minimum... Say football salary. Is there, a, is there a cap? Statistics show the minimum player salary in the National Football League 2011 to 2030 is $660,000 in 2021. So this season is 660. I'd be happy with that. Can I pretend to be a kicker somewhere? Uh, and you, with the competition, there's no baseball. Yeah. Steinbrenner, man. That guy was a beast. I wasn't a fan, but I kind of somewhat appreciated his enthusiasm. And I got a kick out of uh, Larry David trying to play him on Seinfeld. Oh, we screwed after all this money out there. Thing there. I can't say. Yeah, like I said... Kicking the can down the road is a bad tactic in any realm. It's, ugh, I don't know. It's tough. Because eventually someone's going to have to pay. Uh, it worked through the Yankees over the last few years. Tried to get under and stay right at that limit. Yeah. The Yankees, I mean, I'm guessing, what is it? They won. They started winning again in, what, 96? And they rode that thing for, I mean, forever. I mean, they didn't win from, when, was, when did they win before 96? When was the last time they won the World Series? What, 70s, early 80s? He also wanted them to at least spend some of that money too. Yankees funded the Royals for over a decade. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. And it's sad, but true. Yankees funded a lot, I mean, I mean, just, I mean, coming from the Bay Area, they funded the Oakland A's, too. I mean, um, look at Jason Giambi. I mean, wasn't it the, I mean, I don't know if there's any Yankees fans out there that know much about how little Jason Giambi did for you guys, but I don't know. Nothing is free is my – exactly. There is nothing that's free, not even the air or the water. 77, yeah, that's what I – oh, 78? Okay. That was when – what's his name was there? Uh, I mean, oh, my goodness, I'm blanking. That was Reggie. Reggie was there, right? 
Yeah, because I remember when they won in 96. That was like a big deal. And that was when what, Jeter was, I think, a rookie or second year or something like that. Oh, he did was work, though. <laughs> uh, uh, there you go. I'm a Royals fan. David Glass. What would you think of Bo Jackson if you're a Royals fan? David Glass had more money than God. Yikes. And he spent $40 million a year, and the luxury tax was like $30 million given to the Royals. Yikes. I mean, you guys won in what, 85? Back in the 80s I'm talking about? All I know is be homeless and hungry. I can't. I don't get help. A lot of people are in the same boat. It's not stimulus for me. It's a lifeline. Well, I hope you get that soon. Yeah, I really do. My dog is named Bo. 85 2015 that's what i thought yeah i mean from what i've read all the reports that i see on the news that sparingly that i see they say that everything's moving along in terms of putting out those stimulus checks so this should be out soon i have no idea but um i think they should be done because they want to get around the taxes i mean it's nearly april so i think they're going to want to Finish that up so they can get to getting your tax money. It was a game seven, 2014. We lost, but it was a lifelong dream to be there. That's awesome, man. His boat came right after the World Series, if I'm not mistaken. He came the year after you won. I think it was 86, right? Whenever my boys get all excited about a Barkley. Or any other running back move, I go. We wouldn't be so excited about this if Bo never got hurt. They'd be copying. They'd all be copying. Yep. I remember watching that game when he got. He, I think literally his hip gets ripped out of place, and he just keeps running through the guy. Um. He said he couldn't stop himself from continuing to run. So, yeah. Best tickets I've ever had. We bought for 350 bucks and could have sold them for 2000 Yikes. Yeah, I believe it. Rooted really against Derek Jeter one time in my life. I had tickets to the game after he got his 3,000th hit. It was still awesome to be there. Day after, yep. That's pretty cool. Bo was a beast. I remember uh, it was probably the 89, or late 80s, early 90s. It was him and Jordan that had the biggest billboards at Nike. Even though Bo Jackson's shoes were kind of funny looking, they looked like orange bag. Like they had like they were like orange and black or something, kind of weird looking. The Jordans did look a lot better. But his shoes were not, you know, he's a football player. So they were like, I don't know. Maybe those were the first cross trainers, if they call them that. I don't know. I got the 93 Upper Deck Foil SP of Jeter going for grading soon. Nice. I made a Bo Jackson rule. Can't pull people down from behind with your body weight like a tiger. Yeah. Oh, man. Imagine if he didn't go down. He still tried to play baseball after that, right? But he wasn't really the same. Uh, I have the black and white card. I think I might still have it. It's probably not worth anything. He's holding the baseball bat like this, and he's got the shoulder pads on. Good morning, Regina. No Leroy today, unfortunately. He's stopped in a little bit earlier. 
but hopefully he's listening. He's driving right now. I have the Bo Jackson cross trainers. Yes, the first ones, they were awesome. I wish, I really wanted those. Those and the Jordan 3s, Jordan 4s, whatever those were, and like 89, 90. I didn't get either one of them, though. I'm guessing those Bo Jackson cross trainers are worth a few right now because I don't think they, re they remade them like they made the Jordans. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. He's already in Atlanta, I believe. And he's probably picked her up now. I'm not sure. He's probably on his way back from Atlanta right now. Thank you, Jen. Much appreciated. Yeah. Oh, Jackson. I, did you, if you guys have seen the 30 for 30. The guy still looks like he's in pretty decent shape. He probably could have played any sport he wanted and done well at it. Just pick her up in a ladder. Yeah. Uh. So I'm guessing nobody's buying Bo Jackson cards anymore. Those worth anything? Oh, um, let me see here. The most valuable Bo Jackson cards, this is according to what, Google. 86 tops traded Tiffany, what, 2200? That can't be it, only 2200. Yeah, PSA 10, 22, 2250 bucks. Base value, 130 bucks. Bo didn't lift weights until his Raider days. He just did neck muscle. <laughs> I could see, I mean, the guy was a beast. Oh, yes, they are. They are worth money. Okay. Pull ups, push ups, and running. Yeah, he said he used to practice with like, rocks like that's how he would practice his swing and like people would th was it him throwing rocks at things or people throwing rocks at him and he would actually hit them 86 tops traded okay i remember this rookie card A really simple royals card The second one on the list says find the 86 Memphis Chicks, number 28 gold. That's worth something, too. The Donruss highlights. I remember that one, too, 86. Longest home run in Royals history. Is that when he hit it into the water, right? And they always have that highlight of him, like, climbing up the wall to catch um, or steal a home run. Same thing with Herschel Walker. Okay. Herschel Walker. Wasn't he originally a cowboy? I mean, it would pull tires up hills. That's crazy, man. That's like Rocky type stuff. If Rocky actually ever did that. Still trying to get... That's right, man. Go check out Bluegrass Picker's channel. You get some great music and some great reselling info. And you get to see his dogs. 1986 had black border, so it's hard to grade if I'm. Oh, is that right? I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it does have the top, like, third is black, top quarter is black with blue. Those, I like that 86 tops. I mean, it's not conventional, it's very simple, stripped down. It's kind of cool. See, it says the 86 tops design is unique and is just a great looking card overall. Is a set that includes Barry Bonds and Jose Canseco. Hmm. Well, Jen, I don't want to have make videos out. Yep. Thanks, Joe. 
You got one more there, Anthony. So what's the most expensive? Is Bo Jackson the most expensive in that? Let me see here. That 86 tops. Baseball cards. It's expensive. Okay, most valuable 86 tops baseball cards. Pete Rose? No, it can be Pete Rose. Eric Davis, Mr. Was he 3750? Uh, Mr. Nearly 4040. I thought the 87 tops traded because the 86 was so good. 87 was a huge bust. 87, was that the wooden looking card? It looks like the wood grade, whatever. See, 86 had what, Ryan Sandberg. He wasn't a rookie, was he? Ryan Sandberg, Nolan Ryan, Ricky Henderson, Greg Maddox with the stash is the only one worth money, I believe. Ah. These are cool looking cards, but they're just not worth that much. There's an expo, Andre Dawson. That was a that was a beast too. Keith Hernandez. George Brett. There you go, Anthony. The wood grain cards. I remember those wood grain cards. I thought they looked kind of odd compared. To, but, I mean, that's when baseball cards were going through the roof, too. Rookies aren't that good yet. That year. Oh, okay. Oh, Barry Bonds. That's on black on yellow, too. That's when he was with the Pirates. So, just the guys who were traded. Okay. Ricky Henderson on the Yankees, Barry Bonds on the Pirates. That's interesting. So this is pre-A's and pre, well, Barry Bonds went to the Giants after a while. Yeah, estimated value 150 bucks. Yeah, they're really worth not, not worth that much. Jeter, yeah. What was he, what, 96 rookie? 95 rookie, something like that. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a few things done here. Let's print some labels. I can get lost looking at this stuff if I go on for too long. What am I doing here? Okay. I have a Mariano Rivera Auto. He has an awesome signature. Nice. Seven ounces. Where is this going to? This is going to Liverpool. I've got a Katy Perry t-shirt going to Merseyside, Liverpool. Nice. <laughs> Hope you like dogs, bad guitar playing, and self-deprivation. Hey, so it sounds like a good time to me, man. Fun times, fun times. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. It's not much of a sale, to be honest. It's, what was it, like 20 bucks, I think. But they paid another 13 to ship it to the UK. It's just a cheap T-shirt. Thank you, Jen. That's right. Holly needs some subscribers, too. I've sent three John Deere snapbacks to Australia and Sweden recently. You can't beat Americana. I guess would John Deere count? I mean, it's an American iconic company, so I would count as Americana, right? When you think of John Deere, you think of America, so yeah. Especially the snapbacks. I never sold one for very much, but I sold a couple of them for 20 to 30 bucks. Yeah. I've never found a super vintage one though either. <laughs> Maybe that's why it takes his time with that signature, so you can't fake it. What's for dinner? Find some. Oh, there you go. Tracy's plate. Do we have a new video yet? What was the last one I watched there? I watched one pretty recently. $40 for those three. K products and K brand. Okay. Nope, nope. Well, we'll just keep waiting for a new one then. What is this? Oh, Nike jacket. Light jackets are starting to sell for me. Like the thin ones, like uh, warm up type jackets or like runner's jackets, whatever you call them. I'm sure she's working at it. Yep. I'm slacking this week on videos. Yeah, let us know anything to do with food. That's another rabbit hole I'll go down easily. All right, where is my padded flat rate? Padded flat rate, padded flat rate. Okay, there we go. Global shipping on those two, so they paid around 100 bucks after, oh, good. Yeah, customs is no joke in some, I mean, I don't blame them for being upset with the prices if you pay, you know, GSP. And for the longest time, I was only doing GSP, which was a big mistake. So I probably lost a lot of sales because of that. Oh man, I jacked up this label. Uh, I think I salvaged it. That's totally possible. <laughs> it's recorded, I just can't sit long enough to edit. Yeah. Well, I don't even know how to edit, so even if I do, it doesn't come out well.
Oh, this is the shirt where that guy was annoyed that I sent him emails telling him to pay. Uh, some people are funny. Let's see, should I email this guy back and say don't worry about it? Okay. I don't know about you guys, but sales have been good for a good couple weeks now. Even when they, so I'm hoping this continues like last, what, March, April. So we'll see. Time to list.
Yeah, see all of my sales start and stop in the morning mainly. The first thing, one of the first things I do every morning is restart, stop a listing and restart it. That helps. Oh wow, these are old listings. I probably have to revise all these too. One thing I found is more anything else is promoting this. Yep, I do that too. The mistake I made before is my promoted, I mean, I don't know if it's a mistake. I had everything promoted at the very minimum, like 1% for the longest time. And then once I increased it, sales started to go up. So I probably should have done that a lot sooner. It's kind of like the lifeblood of eBay now, promoted listings. They, It's kind of like a, it's gone from something that you might want to do to something you kind of have to do. It's kind of weird also because I remember when I first, well, I started promoted listings when they first brought it out not too long ago, like two years ago, a year ago, I don't know. And it was the, the views you would get were probably 10 times the views you would get now because I think not many people were using it. And then it dropped drastically, even if I, because back then you could do very little, like one, 2% and you get a crazy amount of views. But that only lasted like three to six months. It's probably their testing period. I don't know. Because now, let me see. If I go into promoted listings, let's look at my average. Let's see. Where is it? Where are your promoted listings? Okay. They moved it to the middle now. Okay. Okay. My impressions. I am at an average of... Let me see here, what's my percentage average? It's still not, it's not like 10%, still. Let's see, let's edit it. It is at about 6% right now across the board, which I know from a lot of people I'm hearing is way too low. Uh, but a lot of my items are kind of weird vintage items, so there aren't, isn't much competition. I have 6 million impressions, 6 million 49,000 impressions, which is an increase of 60% in the last 31 days. That equates to 10,800 clicks, which is a 50, 49.01% increase. And at, out of promoted listings, I've had 75 sales in the last 31 days have been from promoted listings. And that is a 3% increase on the last. But the weird thing is, see, that's a 3% increase, but that's only my sales conversion rate is down 23%, which no, no, 0.23%, which is weird. Yours is six. Yeah, mine's at 6% flat. So yours is 6.65%. Okay. What is C CTR is 18%. What is that? Oh, click through rate. Though. So I mean, I think I'm compared to like 30 days a year ago, I'm a lot better. And 
ad fees out of all that is 162 bucks, which is not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. So promoted listings, it's $162.89 spent to promote 75 items at around 6% uh, promoted listing fee. I know that, I mean, that's going to vary based on the prices, but it's not too bad, I think. I don't know. I bet if I increase this right now to 10%, I'd start seeing some sales increase. I mean, it wouldn't be that much. for Well, like it depends. I still have some items that are quite expensive. Let's try an experiment. Let's go. I'm going to change all because I have three different uh, campaigns. I have a regular campaign that I think was created by eBay. It says U.S. campaign. I don't know. I think that's like the default campaign if I don't pick a campaign. And then I have one for clothing and one for hard goods. Try it. All right, I'm going to try 7% flat on everything. And then we'll check back like on Friday to see if there's any, uh, what do you call it, change. All right, edit. Change your ad rate. So suggested rate, if I was to do that, it's it kind of goes all over the board though. You get like 4%, then you get 13%. Let's go with 7, 7%. I gotta do it three times though, because I got three different things. Figure with eBay fees and promoted listing fees, the total is around 20% to sell on eBay. Pretty much. Because what, what do they say? It's what, 12, 13%? And then if I do 7% here and then, yeah, then I don't do free shipping. So the way I rationalize it is now not doing free shipping. My money goes to promoted listings, which is probably more expensive than the ship. I don't know. I guess it depends on the item. But um at least I've rationalized it in my head that way. All right, one more. 7%. Wait, what's the difference here? Set the percentage you'd be willing to pay above or below the suggested rate. Oops, I clicked on the wrong one. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, that's, I've added a third thing. I need to adjust this. I think I added, I did the wrong one for all of these. All right, let me change this. Yeah, I want a single ad rate. Yeah, that's what I want. I don't want your crazy 7% above the suggested. I don't even know what that would be. Seven percent. All right, I think I'm at seven percent across the board now. I've been doing this since says September of 2019. Is my first uh, promoted listing. Yeah, I'm at seven percent. Let's see if that increases my sales. Hmm. Okay. All right. 
defects. Yeah, I think uh, Tommy and Tracy were talking about this yesterday. I had a defect taken off is either last night or this morning, but it, it still shows up. So, yeah, see, it's not going to get taken off until April 20th, which is the next evaluation period for me. That sucks. Good morning, friends. Doing some editing and figuring. I turned the live hangout up. Good morning, Mickey. Unfortunately, Leroy is not here today. He's hopefully here uh, in the background somewhere. <clears throat> He's driving to pick up his daughter. But thanks for being here, man. Appreciate it. What up, Tim? How's it going, man? We were talking about cards a few minutes ago. What li little I know about cards, but... Anthony and LAG and uh, Paul did. <clears throat> Glad Leroy called deep. I am too. Because if he waited for more than, I don't know if it's 30 days or six days or whatever it is, then they would have said, no, we can't help you, which is stupid, but whatever. I don't see why they can't help you if it's after 30 days. But I'm glad he got it taken care of. And they said they're working on the last, whatever the last issue he had was. Yep. It's pouring down rain here in D.C. Yikes. Weather here is looks okay. Probably 50-ish. So I can't complain. Good times. Last night's live was fun with Dave and that one dude. What's his name? Are you talking about, let me see, last night was Cat's live, right? Are you talking about um, John Cincinnati Picker? Uh, he knows who it is. I'm a little slow, Jennifer. The wheel doesn't move that fast up in Mo's head. Wow. Last night, uh, was it? It was Cat, and it was Tommy and Tracy. Always rains when I have a lot of unloading, but that sucks, doesn't it? And the worst is when you have one of those, you know, if you're loading and unloading a truck too, with a, like we used to do a lot of U-Haul truck moves. And if the truck didn't have any kind of bedding at all, so you're slipping and sliding on a metal truck base, ugh, no fun. Got that video scheduled too. <laughs> Tim sounded like he was busy yesterday. Busy, busy, busy. John is the first re re real reseller I found in the community. I mean, he doesn't get doesn't get much realer than him, especially like with. I mean, they have their whole uh, fostering side as well too. So, very down to earth. Cool people. Get bags of my clothes I'm moving from my house. Oh, no, I'm moving. That's never fun. And then 30 orders to take to the post office. Yikes. Oh, boy. Hopefully it's not too bulky. You can fit those in a ton. I don't know, because your stuff is sometimes big. Feels like Friday. I've done so much on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. 
I want to say the last two weeks, can't complain, have been pretty good, like, sales-wise. They keep coming in. And I've sold some stuff that's been sitting forever. Like, I sold, actually, I'm going to have a somewhat decent what sold video this week. I had, like, a Rolling Stones t-shirt that sold for, like, 180. I had, like, a leather vest that sold for, like, 200. I had, I had a bunch of stuff. Here comes my YouTube notifications for Vote 99 auction. Vote 99 auction. There we go. Where are my, my YouTube notifications? Are all out of whack because my son and my daughter use like this computer all the time. So it's half like cartoons and Minecraft stuff and all kinds of other stuff. I have to kind of sift through here to find anything. Yeah, man, it's about to go nuts. The voting ends midnight Friday 26th. Vote by number. I have a huge military bag that's waterproof. I use all the time. It was $10 brand new at garage sale. I tried talking her down to five. She gave me a look and that's <laughs> said $10. That's the only time I paid their money. Nice. Well, you tried. Please vote by five for five of these 10 items below that you want me to put on eBay for 99 cents. See, that's, that's awesome. I love finding stuff that I get to use while hunting for stuff to sell. So the auction, when is the auction? I see so many vote 99s in here. I'm looking at them right now. So here's the list. See, I see Tim's list. I'm looking at it right now. I see Flipping Scorch Sky's list. I'm super glad I did. I can fit four full IKEA bags in there. I use it for taking things to my booth too. Uh, let's see here. I can't put this in the chat. If I put this in the chat, it's way too many things. I think I'll put this in the description. Uh, even though I'm not part of this, I'm going to put this down below in the chat. Go vote for Let me see. I see Tim's link here, and I see Paul's link in here. Anyone else in here on the Vote 99 thingy? 
we'll put it down here. Where's the, let's see here. Oh, Art, Dan's in there too. Interesting. Okay, hold on a second. I'll do that right now, Jen. Uh, she keeps you, Jen keeps me on the straight and narrow. All right, hold on. And, all right, this should work now. Refresh your screen, please, Michelle. This should be all wrenched up. I think. Yeah, I don't know if I, hold on. I refreshed. Does it happen in the next episode then, or? Nope, it works. There we go. I didn't know how fast it goes. Thank you, Jen. Appreciate it. Send me the link to put in the stream. It's more than one link. Hold on. There's vo the vote 99 thingy. Um, I'm going to put all the links down in the description. Hold on. Let me do that right now. And then I will put... Let me see here. Can I edit this now? Let's see. I'm not going to put it in the live stream because that would take forever. Uh, let me see here. All right. I put all the links for everyone's vote 99 thing in here. And then let me get, I'm going to put, let me see here. Uh, put the link in for Libra. Okay, hold on. Well, which link did you want, Libra? Are you looking for the... Let me see here. Blue Wrench Gang. I think it was... Uh, I think this is it right here. Bail does it was too much for my scattered brain and brain. I bailed because I didn't have cool stuff and I want to be laughed off the stage. I want to jump on. Can you? Oh, duh. I'm an idiot. All right. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My bad. My bad. Hey, wheel slowly. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, it's up, it's up, it's up. <laughs> right there with you, Tracy. All right, link is up there. It's in the chat. Sorry. See, I can't do two, more than one thing at a time. I can't do half a thing at a time. I get confused. <laughs> How are we, sir? What's going on? Not much. I was just marveling at all these people. They, you heard about this auction 99 thingy, right? I wanted, I wanted to catch you before you ended. I didn't know what time you were going to end. I have no idea right now, to be honest. I've just been, I was doing my, I went through my shipping. I did that. And I was going to do some listings. So I'll probably be here for a while. Oh, okay. Okay. How's everybody doing? I can't read, but I uh, hope everybody's doing good. Everyone's doing good. I'll read for you. You don't have to read. Don't don't look at the screen. No, no, no. I'm not dumb. <laughs> I know. Uh, let me see here. Everyone says hi. Anthony, Jen, Tracy. Uh, What's Paul, up, Tracy? How you doing? Michelle. Uh, who else? Oh, I think Cameron's here too, yeah. Hey, 
time a Van Briggle vase worth 115 bucks. I, I don't know anything about vases. I tried to stay up and watch all Tommy and Tracy's show last night, but I was um I had to go to sleep because I had to get up early to leave to go to Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking through this thing. You didn't, uh, let me see. I'm going to put some of these links up here for, wait, how does this work? You have a drive and you don't want to take them. That you you want to stop, but you don't want to stop where you're going to go a mile or two to get to something like food or something. Yeah. Like you want to be able to see it from the road if it's not a, uh, if it's not right there, you know what I mean? You got to go to McDonald's, okay? Is that okay? Oh, just so you know, Leroy, Anthony has a message for you. He says, um, if you don't like Leroy, actually, he's talking for you. If you don't like Leroy, unsubscribe to me. Thank you. Come again. So you got some support there. Anthony, listen, listen, not just Anthony, because I don't want to upset anybody. We, W-E, we have a lot of supporters, and, and they're real supporters. They're not just our supporters because they, because they, want people to know that they're in YouTube. Like we have like real supporters. Cause I have people that will say, Hey, listen, I'm so sorry. I haven't caught your show. Um, I've been busy, blah, blah, blah. But you know, I do listen in the background, whatever. And like, that's all I want. I don't want to have 10,000 people where we can't even re relate to people in the chat. You know, yeah. Of course, that's great. That's great. That would be awesome. But yeah. the way that it is right now to be able to have communication and you know we talk to some of these guys on and off on and offline you know private chats and stuff that to me means a lot yeah exactly exactly so i'm stopped so you guys know so okay. this is my mini me she's not gonna want to say hi but this is my mini me she looks just like me say hi Bianca. That's 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 Leroy Jr. Nice to meet you. Hope you're having a good that's trip. The, that's, that's the shy. That's the shy Bianca. She'll she'll put you in your place. I I wouldn't. She she's that's right amazing. up there with uh Tra She's right up there with Tracy and Jennifer. I I wouldn't mess with her. I really wouldn't. There you go. That's the main thing. She's about. She's about five foot five at thirteen years old. That's pretty good. That was more than I was at thirteen years old. Oh well, yeah. That might be more than what I am right now, actually. <laughs> Looking for my mouth, baby. Those aren't mine. Those are Sharon. Um. Everyone's saying hi, by the way. Oh, they're all saying hi to you. Anthony, Tracy, Michelle, Jen, Cam. Yeah, you and me both. Bianca, we got to lock the door, okay? Okay. We finally stopped. I know Bianca's hungry, and my lights hurt a little bit. Oh. I, like I said, I don't like to, I don't like to stop where I can't see, like, oh, something nearby. I hate when you got to drive far away. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you, yeah. You want to go to the bathroom prospect? You're like tall, almost as tall as me. Look at her. She's like taller than me. I'd be afraid <laughs> to stand next to her because I'd feel short. Oh, yeah. You wait right here for me, okay? Ugh. 
Same here, Anthony. Don't worry. They're all saying that we uh, feel a little bit short. Anthony's saying that too. Anthony's not short, though. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. All right, so let me guess. You're at, let me see here. It's so off, off the freeway, so it has to be fast food. Um, um what? Oh, is it like a diner? No, I'm not McDonald's. McDonald's, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. Is it just me or McDonald's on the road always tastes better than McDonald's in my hometown? It feels like an adventure, yeah. kind of. It does. it does. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. The, the thing is, the thing is, too, is to me, McDonald's is safer. Some like diners and stuff I don't know down here. So I would I have to be. I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, exactly. Because like, I kind of feel like it's more, I don't know, more people show up there and more people go there. Yeah. I like, well, you know, we do reselling. And I know, I bet you people in the chat are going to say the same thing. You yeah. don't know how many times I've met, I've met to sell something at McDonald's. I feel, I feel safe at McDonald's. Yeah. You know, yeah. through Facebook or whatever. I'll be like, oh, meet me at McDonald's on uh, Chickapoo Boulevard. Yeah. Exactly. And it's one of the McDonald's few restaurants where everyone I know in my family has an item that they want to get. Like my mom always gets like the apple pies for some strange reason. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if there's I don't know if there's anything but the straw that is healthy. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You're probably right. Where have you been, Mo? Um, to the bathroom. Uh, I've been to my own kitchen. Cameron's asking where I've been. Uh, He's been all around the world and I, 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 I. Oh, no. Now that song's going to be stuck in my head now. <laughs> I've been to the other side of the house. Something when he's allowed. When he's allowed to. Yes, that's true. Oh, I get kicked out of here, too, when the kids get off of school. Do you know what you want? No. What does your stomach say on the road? Do you have to run uh, the bathroom like it? Do you have you to run the bathroom like it? Something. Uh, I try not to. Um, yeah, we should be able to get one like this breakfast. Time. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Well, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. Hold on, okay? All right. If no I can do this, if I can do this, you can turn that camera off for a couple seconds. <laughs> McDonald's is for breakfast. That's right. The breakfast is getting better. I got to admit, they still have the hot cakes, hot cakes, and let's see. Just give me Big Macs, two or three every trip. I don't know if it's just me, but I think the Big Macs are a little bit smaller these days. They used to be like this. Now they're kind of like this. People buy memories just like, yeah. And they buy their memories on eBay half the time now, too. Man, I'm looking at these vote, 90, vote auction 99 things. More is like 20 of them now. So you guys, if you guys all saw, no, we dropped out. I don't know what I don't know what I was doing. Sorry. Oh, because I thought you were going to the bathroom. That's why you dropped out. So when is this auction? I see a bunch of links. Is there a central show where it's all going to be on, it's on Bolo Buddies, I think? There's 30 total people. I was too afraid to do it. I'm going to go, let me see here. Let's see if we can, hold on. Where is, I don't know if Tim's still here, but I know that It's cool that you guys all put other people's channels in there. So I, I like this. Oh, wait, Eric's in there too. Where's Eric's? We'll put his up too. Over the next two days, people will vote for your five items to go up. 
You then go live on eBay Sunday for a seven day auction. Ah, see, I'm too slow. I didn't pay attention to any of this. I don't see Eric's, where's his video though? Oh, there it is. I see it. After they close the top five in sales, win. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to do it. I'd be too nervous. I'd be like, if they had a bottom five, I'd be in there. Bianca was watching to make sure you were not talking about me. We would never do that. Come on now. Or maybe a little bit. No, we wouldn't do that. All right, so this is for this is OVX Pickers five items. I'll just put it at that. If you're interested in that, my whole goal is don't finish last. That's why I didn't even enter because I was too nervous. My items are not that good. I don't have items that people would want to purchase. So I said, I, re not reluctantly, I just bowed out. Who did I get a message from? I got a message from somebody. I, I shared it on Instagram though. I did do that much. Let's see here. I'm gonna go and find a video. All right, here we go. Flipping sports guy. Thanks, Jen. Go check out this link right here. Sweet Tea is given a Kobe Bryant auto to winner. So it's worth winning. Wow. That's pretty cool. I know there'd be a lot of people don't want that. Let's see here. Thanks, Jen. All right, let's take a look at this right here. Back on a Wednesday with a very special video today. It's not our normal what's so good today. This one's a good one. So you know what's crazy? Listing a valuable item on eBay with a 99 cent starting price and free shipping as an option. Pretty crazy. You know what's crazier? 30, yes, 30 YouTube resellers listing options at 99 cents starting price with free shipping. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Even crazier. They all list five items at 99 cents each with free shipping. Wow. Crazy. Definitely crazy. What's even crazier? You decide those five items. No. It's you, the viewers. That is crazy. That is crazy. But that's what's happening this week. There are 30 of us in a challenge hosted by Bobo Buddies, and we're going to let you decide. Yep, what happened? And what we're auctioning off. There we go. I'm going to let Courtney of the Bolo Buddies 
uh, the information. So, Courtney, you have the floor. Welcome to the first 99 Sound. I'm Courtney, also known as Bobo Buddies. We have an amazing event for you guys, which should result in over 100 items being listed off on eBay for 99 cents free shipping. Yes, I said free shipping. So, we need your help. How this is going to work is you guys are going to be presented 10 items in this video, and you are going to vote for five, your five favorites. And those five items are going to be brought to auction on eBay for 99 cents free shipping. There will be over 20 resellers participating in this challenge. So what you need to do is find the other channels. Number one, you can check the description of the video. They should be linked there. Or you can go up to the YouTube search bar and type in hashtag vote auction 99. Uh -huh. All one word, hashtag vote auction 99. When you search that, it should pull up all of the participants. A hashtag will pop up and you'll click on that hashtag and everyone will be right there. Please get your votes in by Friday night because we will be listing these items on Sunday. They will run seven day auction and whoever sells their five items for the most money will be the winner. Now, this is a great opportunity for you guys as viewers to go and maybe get a really great deal on an item. So definitely check out those auctions and bid if you see something you like. So remember this hashtag, come back to it on Sunday, revisit the channels because we are going to add the ego listings to our description. So it'll be right there for you guys to just click on them and see what we have to offer. The winner of this challenge will get a thrifted prize from all of the losers. We will have a follow-up video on each channel. We will be telling you what sold, what our items sold for. So be sure to come back and check that out. The hashtag for that is hashtag what sold option 99. All right, you guys, thanks for participating. We appreciate you all. And thanks for watching. Wow. Thank you so much, Courtney, for that. That is some very informative information right there. And I think it really tells everyone what this competition is about and what they need to do. So don't forget that at the end of this video, you are going to comment below and tell me what five items I'm putting up. Then you're going to use that hashtag, vote auction 99, and go check out everyone else's video and say what they are going to list. Got that? Got All it. Right. Well, let's get into our 10 items. And hopefully you see five you like, and there are five that are- Hope you don't mind them playing this, Paul. Hope you make you as a reseller money because the price is still cheap. You lift it. Okay, so in my opinion, I'm one of the new guys on the block here on YouTube that's going to be selling. So for me, even if I don't win, I could go big or go home. So I don't win, we're wasting no time jumping in. You like vintage? I got vintage. You like video games? I got video games. So what do we have? PlayStation 2. Nice. Working. Two memory cards. Two controllers. SingStar microphones with the controller. For 99 cents. And five games. Disney Sing It, SingStar 90s, NHL 05, ATV Off-Road, and World Series Baseball. That's right. This is a nice bundle that can make me a little money. And if you're a good reseller, which I know you are, you can make some money off it too. It's a lot of video. I got a good comment. <laughs> okay, so I know. Uh... But you do like those video games. I got you. That's right. We've got a Wii. See, this is why I didn't compete. I wouldn't have had stuff this good. A pair of hand trucks, Wii Sports. The Wii Balance Board, Cabela's Big Game Hunter, a boxing game, ABC Wipeout, and of course, a Wii Fit to go with the Wii Fit Board. Another good option that can make you a little bit of money. I think you should put this up. What do you say? Okay, so winter is dying down, but you can always use a good leather jacket. What about this cold book? Extra large leather jacket. Might be a good item to resell. 
What do you think? Okay, so I can elect not only one treasure and be the only one son of Arby's. Can I? Really? Yeah, you can like that. You've got a 1998 vintage. Ooh. Beyond Barbie. I might bid on that. Still with the cassette cover. The box is still beat up, but it's a vintage Barbie. Put my money to mix on that if I'd done it, yeah, but instead I got it sold overnight. I would, have, yeah, if it's sold, it's sold. Take the money in hand. Okay, so this is Jane. She's so soft, so squishy, because she's a squishmallow. A jumbo squishmallow. Hey, Leo, are you seeing this? Oh, wait, you're driving. Yeah, I don't watch. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not driving. I'm still. Um, oh, okay. This video. I see your new host. That's I your know. new host, right? Yeah. I think I'm replacing you with Paul, man. He's pretty smooth. He's gonna replace me with that guy. Should he stay with daddy or should he keep that guy? She's a show, man. Paul, this video looks pretty good, my friend. I'm liking the video, man. Yeah. I hope he, I didn't ask if I could put it up. I hope he's okay with that. Another rebound court and another new pick game. Now, do you really think I should off and off? So I didn't enter this competition. Yeah. But I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna be like a uh like a um what do you call that? A troll. Oh yeah, I'm good at that too. We can both troll. Yeah. I'm gonna buy stuff from from um Tim. And from uh, OBX, and I'm not going to pay for it, <laughs> so they lose. That's not that's worse than a troll. A troll is you just make weird comments, but my daughter like, has a, an eBay. My daughter the has troll. an eBay account. I'm going to go on. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go on Bianca's eBay account and leave messages. How? What kind of card is yeah. this? <laughs> uh. I'm gonna say, what kind of card is this? I don't know, man. This is this. I, I I'm really glad I didn't. After watching his video, I didn't have. I'm not gonna put up. He's got two game systems for 99 cents. No, they have to start everything at 99 cents. No, I'd be too nervous to be like nobody's gonna buy my stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna lose out. I think Eric was gonna put something up. That's worth like three or four hundred bucks, and, it, and they're gonna start at ninety-nine cents. I'm not gonna compete with that. I'm gonna put up. Right, here's I, the, I would have put this up right here. How much can I get for my bell? That's because you're cheap. That's true. But here's the deal. Yes. If you have stuff that you paid nothing, see, I have stuff that that's worth six or seven hundred dollars. Yeah. And. I got nothing into it, ten dollars. Yeah. So I would, I would have did it. I wouldn't have been afraid. I mean, but I just heard about it yesterday. And to be honest with you, I don't want to put a video on. Um, I I got it. Uh, I I was messaging back and forth um, with um, I was at Bolo Buddies, right? Yeah. And then she said, "Oh, are you going to do this?" And I saw Tim. It was Tim. Tim's message on Instagram. So I hit that. I, I liked it. And then she's like, oh, you're going to do this? I said, no, nah, I don't think my stuff's good enough, but I'll, I'll post your link. So I posted their link instead. But I'm too nervous to I, – I can do that. You need to stop being a chicken. Stuff's not good enough. It's not about chicken or not chicken. It's about – It has nothing to do with good enough. It has nothing to do with good enough. Maybe that, if they do it again next time so I can observe – I, if you're saying I'm Eric's really, really dropping, and then I already said, I've seen. 
Go ahead. I really, really don't know what I'm going to do with you. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. You're not the first to say that, my friend. They're doing a competition, and you're going to put 10 things on eBay, or five things on eBay, and you're going to start them off at a dollar, 99 cents. Would you put any of my stuff on eBay? She'd put all my stuff on eBay. She, she told me since stuff. she was a. She it's told me since she was a baby that all my stuff is junk. The TV, the kitchen sink, everything. So what did you end up buying? Let me guess. The egg McMuffin. No, Bianca wanted a burger. Oh, you got a burger this? Oh wait, it's twelve o'clock there, right? Yeah. 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 She wanted a burger, so I got her a burger. And she's nice. not getting a lot of McDonald's when we're home. So. McDonald's is good, healthy food, man. It is good, healthy food. What? Right? She's shaking her head. <laughs> she's quiet. Like, she'll open up one day, but she's quiet with me. <laughs> but if you get her mad, she'll eat you. Look, she's smiling. If you get her mad, she will, man, she'll tear you apart. <laughs> I will... she, she got me and her mother in her. So her mom's nationality is black, Cape Verdean, and Indian, right? And then she has black and Irish on my side. So she's black. Black, Indian, Cape Verdean, and Irish. That's a cool mix. And guess what her last name is? The same as your last name? That's right. There you she go. Said she's gonna change, she said she's going to change it. <laughs> you got cool. I told her when she gets my... When she gets married, she can't change it. Lee says not everybody does. We're all cool mixes. That's right, Anthony. That is true. So I'm going to try. She told her mama I was going to make her do eBay. But I want to try to do a challenge while she's here and have her. We're going to go to Goodwill one day. And I'm going to give her $10. Yeah. And see if she can flip it. I bet she could. Probably better yeah. than you could. Probably. Probably. Be I mean, I it would. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what she picks up. So. Yeah. So we have like an hour and like 50 minutes left. No, oh, you mean drive home? Yeah. Oh, an hour. We're doing hour. good. On, we're doing good in time because I got to be back. We'll be back about 2, 1.30, 2 o'clock, two and I need to leave the house. At three thirty, see that see that BMW Bianca. I mean that Mercedes. That's what I'd love to have. When you're rich, can you buy me that right there? Oh my God! Look at the plates. What are the plates on it? Spotenberg. What are those plates? Rhode Island. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. What kind yeah. of Beamer? It's the it's the van. It's the luxury van. Ooh. The van that has the, all the hookups and everything. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, you heard you heard it here. Leroy's buying a BMW van. One day I wish. That that would be my van, so I can um do the tour. 
the world tour can really go become a world tour? Become if I didn't marry my wife, if I didn't marry my wife, I would have I would have did that. I would have put a trailer on it and put all my eBay stock in the trailer and I would have yeah. just traveled. Van life for Leroy. Leroy's van life. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can come over to California then. Here's the problem. I'm only good for about six hours a day, and that's enough driving. Well, that's a lot of driving, to be honest. Six hours. Six hours will take you. Let me see. I can get to Los Angeles in six hours. Oh, um, Bianca doesn't. Bianca doesn't even know. Bianca, where do you want to live? Where are you going to move to when you get older? Um, I want to. She wants to move to California. There you go. California is a place to be. That's where he lives. That's where he is right now. Mo is in. What part of California are you, Mo? Sacramento. So we're not, in, we're in, not in the cameras part. He's in Sacramento. Have you heard of Sacramento before? Oh, we can't go. You think so? How far are you from the ocean? Um, Pretty far. We're not that close. I'm. I mean, maybe if I go west, a hundred miles. Sacramento's inland. So when I was in she the bay, like the ocean anyway. Yeah. When I was, I mean, it wouldn't take me that long. It would take an hour and a half in any direction. Right. Hey, uh, Derek. No, right now. Right now, about a maybe an hour and a half. Maybe Derek would know better than me, actually, how how long it takes to get to the ocean from Sacramento. Let's see. Did I you mean, is, are you talking are you talking to Derek? He just said hey. So I'm gonna say hey back. You, listen, listen, listen. That's my that that's my client. <laughs> you can't just you can't just go start talking to Derek. Uh, Okay, I see how it is. Fine, I won't talk to him. See, you're right. I can't. I uh, see. He 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 can't even hear me. You just put up the wall. I gotta talk to my person. That I. Okay, I'll get my guy to talk to you. Yes. Hope so. Be. That's the capital of Cali. There we go. In in reselling, he's my he's my first client. But I have other clients, but he's my first client of his so. Your other, you have more than, okay, who, who are these other clients? So or you can't talk about them. They're not in reselling, but they're, yeah, they're not in reselling. Oh. Okay. This is, this is new to me. I didn't know you had this many clients. So you're like an agent now. You're like a big time agent. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's good to know. It is. Look at me and speak to him. <laughs> uh, there you go. Well, I think he's going on the Tommy and Tracy show. I got him. That, that was his first gig. I got him. Nice. Yeah, he's getting now uh, Capri Suns. So the, you, uh, you, you said you got paid in Capri Suns? No, that's what that's what Tom I mean that's what uh Derek gets. Oh. He gets he gets well he gets like a twelve pack of Capri Suns. Oh no no I got him a case. A case. A big oh, one. Yeah, a big one from big time. From, a big uh, time. Yeah, from Costco. From Costco. Got me all the tricks. <laughs> Woo! Did you see that truck Bianca? Are they like fruit punch or what are we talking about here? Like electric lemonade or what? It, I mean, what? Are, I forget the flavor. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know what his, his favorite flavor is. I I, I should because he's my client. You should know this stuff. I know. How do you not know this? I haven't had a Capri Sun in since I well when I coached soccer. Multiple dreams. There you go. Oh, Anthony had crazy dreams last night. He's having multiple dreams. He's not gonna be on my label. I'm not. I might. 
I'm so thinking about how do you pay Anthony? You pay Anthony in like uh, I don't know, pull up bars, or no, you pay pay Anthony in bars and uh, lawnmower blades and oh. um, grease fittings and um, a, a blade chopper. Okay, that's dog, tre dog, dog treats. There you go. That can be expensive stuff. I was at the resale rally wasted running around. Oh my goodness. So, oh, Anthony met Tommy at the resale rally. I didn't know there was a resale rally. I'm, I'm guessing the one a couple years back. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no, he's talking about a dream that he had. Oh. <laughs> That's you're right. Yeah, he said it, 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 he said it was crazy. It was at the reseller rally, chasing around Tommy, running around with Tommy, and they were having a few. So he was at, and he said, "That's he, a personal problem." That's a pro Tommy has a family. Um, Anthony, <laughs> I don't think he meant like that. They're, oh, okay. I got a little <laughs> scared. I got a little scared. No, I don't think he meant like that. I think he was just having a good time, but he said that's weird because he's he's a sober guy, so only in his dreams, I guess. It was a dream. He's talking about his dreams, well, yes. Ask him if he wants if he wants an agent. Oh I have to do you need an agent? Play. I think Cameron's he gonna has be my Instagram. What's up? I think Cameron can get him a better deal than you. He's going to be his agent. No, 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 no. I'll stop breaking necks at that point. <laughs> Nobody else going to start swinging. I was the one that started with the with the percentage. I'm the one that started with the – I'm the agent. People can't be jumping around taking my stuff. Well, I, I did some research for you because I know you have to – Tell Tommy which flavor of Capri Sun they give. Um, so here are the 10 best Capri Sun flavors ranked. So you got lemonade, tropical punch, strawberry kiwi, wild cherry, surfer cooler, which I like by the way, red berry, orange, which is the original I think, and then grape. You better put that away. I do not want to see that. Look at this little brat has. I can't see. It's too small. It's a Patriots face mask. She oh, brought good. it just to frustrate me. She does this stuff. Good for you. Go Patriots. Go. Wait, who's there? They said go Patriots. Good for you. I got She's two laughing. Up. She's laughing. She has been doing I told you. She's been doing this to me since she was a little kid, and she loves it. I told her, when Daddy dies, you're going to have to be a Steelers fan. She said, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, Anthony said he was talking. Oh, he's talking about the live in his dream. That's why he dreamt about it. Oh, Derek said that's all wrong. Maybe I got the wrong flavors. Oh, because Derek's, Derek's a Rams fan, so he's not going there either. I thought it was like. Oh, what did he say? What did he say? Oh, Anthony and uh, Anthony said I thought I was gonna like Bianca. Just kidding. But then Derek's not oh, happy. No. Derek's not happy. The guys on the guys on the show are not happy because you like the Patriots. She's smiling. Not, not because you like. Not because of the Steelers, though. They couldn't care less about the Steelers. Other than I think Cameron. She now she's showing me. Uh, her Patriots earbuds. Earbuds, and, uh, fancy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She is. Uh, she she does this to to, to get under my skin. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Roethlisberger will come back and play for the three hundredth season in a row, and you'll be all good. <laughs> He's coming back next year. Him and Juju. With no, he'll come back with you know. He'll be on. Crutches and you know, broken this, a sprain that, and he'll still play. You're lucky I can't pay attention to you right now. You're so lucky. Uh, I've got three. We got like four thousand miles between us. That's my my, my padding. I 
I hope everybody's happy that I finally came back on the show. Even yeah. though it was probably nice and calm without me. No, I was dead, but it's okay. Don't let it frustrate you when it won't happen as much. She's going to get your ass. Oh. oh, yeah. Cameron's saying, don't worry about it. Go, go Steelers. Thank you, Cameron. And then Anthony threw in, go Chiefs. But he said, got to stick to your guns. Apparently, apparently Anthony, likes, Anthony likes the Ravens if he's chasing Tommy around. That was a dream. <laughs> No, he's not. It's funny that I have multiple dreams about talking about reselling, about eBay, about Amazon, about discussing. Hold on, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this right now. Yes. If you ever have a dream about me, keep it to yourself. Don't tell the audience. Don't message me on Instagram. Just keep it to yourself, please. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. Oh, I have a notebook next to my bed. If I ever do, I'll get out and I'll write down what happened and I'll tell you about it the next day. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I, are you a notebook guy? No. no. There, are, there are a bunch of people that are notebook they, and they wake up and they write about their dream. No, that sounds like a lot of work. My goodness. I mean... I don't care to remember half of my dreams. I'd rather forget them, most likely. It's probably like me yelling at the eBay customer service person. That would be number one, I think. Well, you better be nice. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. You better be nice now. You be nice. I know, because I know you're like you're 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 like you're like this with eBay now. Like you're buddy buddies with uh, you got your inside folks. After I talked to them yesterday, we're best friends. Was that, were you like, uh, I spoke to Ireland yesterday, Ireland eBay. Did you talk to the Philippines, USA, or Ireland? How long did you wait? I, it was early on. So it was like seven in the morning, my time. So it was, but I got it right when they traded off because the first person was from Ireland and they said, okay, let me hold on. And it switched to the Philippines. So it's right at the cost. I called last night at about seven o'clock. Oh, I usually call in the morning. And it, was, it was an American person. <laughs> but Derek said, the, Derek said Bianca must seven. be listening to nothing good because she's got Patriots earbuds on. <laughs> Bianca, the guy Derek, one of my buddies, he said, you must be listening to nothing good. Because you have Patriots earbuds. She's just smiling. Uh, this is like Christmas for me. <laughs> it is because she's like my she's no. like my mini me. She's like my mini me, but she's not as verbal, but she's definitely my mini me. Like we eat the same stuff. Everything that I she likes is because of me, because I groomed her. She was a baby. She likes seafood. She likes clams. Only thing she doesn't like is lobster. Oh boy. She well, likes strawberry banana smoothies. She likes chicken wings. There you go. I don't think she likes corn beef though. That's an acquired taste. Bianca, Bianca you like corn beef? You don't know? She doesn't know. I don't think she likes Guinness either. I hope not. But yeah. But yeah, Derek just said he thought I had a dream before we were in it. And I'm not going to say what he said, the two and two other items. So I'm, I won't repeat that. Derek's not in the competition, right? So who's in the competition in our clique? I know. Uh Oh, you're I talking about the 99? Jim is. I know that. I'm uh, sorry. Tim, Eric, Paul. Uh, hold on. I was. Let me click on one of these videos. Who were the first two you said? Who were the first two? Oh, Tim. And Eric. Tim. Is Derek in it? No, Eric. OBX Picker. Oh, Eric. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Jim, oh, I mean, Jim, Jim Noel, Eric, Eric, Paul, Anthony, or no? Anthony, I don't see. On there. See Dan, I see Noel, I see Mike, yep. I see. Mike who? My January house, Mike. Oh, okay. And then I see Billy Picker. I see, yeah, Tim and Eric. Yep. And then I wonder if I wonder if uh, what's his name's in it. Um, uh, Philly Picker's son. Philly Picker's son. All three of those Where's guys. Dan? Are. Oh, Dan's Dan is in it. In it? Yeah, yeah, Dan's in there. If Mike and if Mike and Joe had a baby, it would be Dan. <laughs> they treat him like it. There is that's his that's their son. It's so funny. Yeah, you're probably right about that. But I, I'm guessing Wait, Mike's. I'm not saying gonna, it. What? I'm guessing Mike's gonna have some good stuff. Yeah, Michael probably. You know who has good stuff though? I think uh, Philly Picker is gonna have good stuff too. No, there's one guy I think is gonna blow him out the water if he really wants to. Hey, hold on, hold on. What's he doing? Are you a candy bar? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? Opening a candy bar or something? Or is it... No, I took my headset off for a second. Oh, it sounded like plastic wrapping or something. Like... No, I tried. No, you know the guy I think will probably, I don't know, because I don't know everybody on this list, so I, I don't want to jump, but Mr. Buys a lot's on there. Yeah, he is. Brian. Yep. So I'm saying, like, if he really wanted to, then that would be, you know, game over, right? I mean, I mean, all he has to do is put his new Jordan card that he put up there. Yeah. He just bought knows? a new Jordan card for. He bought a Jordan card for ten thousand. Yeah. So I mean, he he's he does very well. So if he puts that up for ninety nine cents, <laughs> forget about it. I, I, I guarantee you it's going to get 7000 Easy. I, I'd it's even... It's on the week. I, I'm going to... You know, I'm going to go in there with my multiple eBay accounts. I've got like six of them. So I'm going to bid on a bunch of these things. You're not going to know it's... That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I mean, it's not hard but to... I'm not going to pay, though. I'm not going to pay. Okay, I'm not that guy. That's... Uh... I'm gonna send messages. I'm gonna go into Bianca's account, and I'm gonna send messages. Okay, so we all know this now. So I mean, you've you've already <laughs> given yourself up. I'm gonna message to Eric. Will you send this to? All right. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna purchase that. I'm gonna bid a dollar on everything, and I'm gonna say this is Leroy dollar. This is Leroy dollar. This is Leroy and Dollar. And then when I don't win, I'm going to message him back. Leroy is very upset now. I know. Did that, they open up yet? Did they start yet, or is it tonight? I think, hold on. I, I watched the whole video. I didn't even pay attention to when the, they start. I think they start this evening. Hold on. No, it will start the auction Sunday. Okay. Yeah, so the pre the free round is now. I think the free we round get a pick. Yeah, yeah. I think we get a pick and say which one of each guy's five we want to see. And then the ten items are going to go Sunday night. I think. Like the the. 10. Are they doing ten or five? It says ten in this video. I present ten. Oh no. Then you vote below which five, sorry, five items. You're right. So five items you want me to choose. So it's only going to be five. Yikes. I'm going to be bidding. Yep. Cam's Noel, going to bidding. Noelle's going to, Noelle's going to put like her tractor. Noelle's a, I'd say a dark horse because she can probably 
Who knows what she finds? She's a, I put the well. You know what though? Everybody's gonna do good. I, I'm excited because everybody's gonna do good because everybody not, has stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't know a lot of these people, so this would be good for me to figure out. I mean, and you know what how do you, mean you don't know a lot of these people. There's 30 <laughs> resellers on here. Yeah, but this this out of the 30 people, there's there's 28 people that entered. Out of the 28 people, you know 15 of them. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe because I'm looking at the, the, the screen names. Say, I'm looking at here. See, okay, I know one, two. I think I know. Okay, maybe not. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'm not sure. Ten. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16. I proved my point. I know. I, I proved my point. You just said, I don't know these people. And then you just counted. <laughs> you just counted 18 people. Okay. Oh my goodness. You you don't know a it's third of the 30 I people. I know. Okay. I know 18 people that I know, and there's two or three that I might know. So let's just say 20 out of 30. So that's 10 new reselling channels. I don't know anything about them, so that's good. I can find out who they are. Now you're backpedaling. I always backpedal. That's what I do. I'm good at that. I moonwalk. I don't backpedal. You know, I just, I just don't know how much longer I can stay on the show. <laughs> I'm surprised you lasted this long. I'm, I mean, hats off to you. All right, take I, it I easy. Just don't know. Why wouldn't it all come go from the same account on my management so well? Uh, good luck with that, man. They're taking my label printing fees from my personal checking instead of my business account. Oh, that's weird. I don't know. Weird. eBay always has glitches or whatever. <laughs> See, at least Cameron caught my line in there. He liked it. I don't backpedal. I move on. Uh. So we gotta figure out our um we we have we only have like eight days to figure out we already know, but we gotta figure out we gotta talk about April first. You talking about April first? Yeah. Okay, so here's here's my tentative plans and you can tell because right now it's me, you and Noel. That tentatively, yep. right? So I was thinking instead of starting at six, I'll start at four to give you guys better because it's, you're talking about eight hours, a long time, right? So if I start at four in the morning, then my, so then that would mean I go four to 12. So you you start at 12, which is 3 p.m. your time. So it's like your swing shift. So you go, so that way everyone gets kind of a good part of the day, you know, not a bad, you know, so you get people watching, you know, you want people to watch, right? I want to so be on at night. You want to be on night night? Yeah, I want to be the night guy. So that would mean, wait, I'm doing the specific time. So I was 4 to 12, and then 12 to 8 would be Noel then. And then you would be 8, which would be 11. You want to start at 11? Yep. Your time? Because yep. the, the reason I was saying Noel, because she's West Coast. So that would be 8 her time. She's starting. It's more. Well, well I think you we already go. had a group. I think we already had a group. You had a group the chat gold is you get, No, I thought we had one. And the gold, so the so the rule is, yes. you got to do five listings an hour. Okay, that's doable, I think. Yeah, but I mean, the last yeah. couple hours might be tough, but I think so. You got to do five five listings an hour. So if the first three listing, if the first three hours you do eight listings, then that's going to give you. You want to do as many as you can. In the beginning, so if you if you crash, you're gonna be okay. Do you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, I don't think now, no, I'll we'll ask, yeah. no, but you, I'll message her. And if anybody else wants to jump on, they can. Oh they yeah. Get it. If uh, any of these Cameron, guys want to join, uh, Cameron, just so you know, we're talking about April first. Uh, we talked about this like a week ago or two weeks ago now. We're gonna do an April first marathon live listing thing 
So, so far it's me, Leroy, and Noel. And we're, we were 24 figuring out hours. 24 hours. We're going to start early in the morning and then we're going to go eight hours because eight hours is like the maximum that YouTube does after they kick you off, right? So we're going to do eight hour shifts. I'm going to do one. That's not true. That's not true. not true. I've watched Dante. No, I've watched Dante for 30 hours. Well, I'm not doing 30 hours. So I think eight hours. Fine. <laughs> I'm making it up. I'm making, okay. I'm, I'm telling a falsehood. There's an eight hour max. Because it, there, I, okay. For one thing, people don't want to listen to me for eight minutes. You think they want to listen to me for eight hours? I think you have some very depressed resellers. They'd be like, okay, I'm not going to do reselling anymore. I'm going to go find something else to do. We well, are how many got to how many got to be on an auction? There should be like auction. say we should have to do yeah, like do we auction. should have to do like say 10, 10. All right, hold on, hold on a second. Cameron's saying he's game. Okay, because okay. I know you, you work eight to five, so you would have to do it. Uh, he's West Coast time, so he works eight to five, so you'd have to do an evening shift. Um, and he'll be he'll be out towards my shift. That's fine. Okay, we'd have. You know what? I'm gonna send out a group thing. If Cameron wants to be part of this, that's cool. To Cameron, uh, hell no. <laughs> of course, Telford have to chime in right there. Um, um, I say we, I'm going to send out a group thing. And if anyone else is interested, maybe we'll extend this for more than a day, right? No, just 24 hours. We'll do 24 hours. And if somebody needs a break, we can have somebody come in, but we still need those guys to compete, to, to, to do it with us, even though they're not online. Cameron's saying, can we do two hour shifts? Um, no. I think that's a little short because we already do more than that now. So here's, here's the deal. Here's the yeah. deal. My goal is to be on for the whole 24 hours. How about I don't this? care what any of you guys do. My goal is to be on somebody's channel for 24 hours. Okay. How about this? That's I got my an idea. goal. Okay. All right. To make it all work out, to keep it all in 24 hours, instead of we'll have three people's channels, right? We'll divide it between the three channels. So me, your channel, and Noel's channel. But Cameron, like if he wants to, or anybody else, can jump on uh, whoever's channel you want to. Yeah, yeah. So then that way he doesn't have to. He's got to work. You know, he's got to go to sleep. He's got to work. He's got to, yeah. you know, do a lot. So that if Cameron wants to jump on Noel's or mine or Leroy's channel, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. whatever you want to do. You can just jump on. And then the, the rule is if you jump on, you got a list. That's it. Simple. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't want to come on and list, I still want to see people in the chat. Yeah. Like our regular people, like we have a group of like 30 of us. I would love to see them say, hey, listen, I'm, I've been on for two hours. I did 10 listings. Yeah. Yeah. They don't oh. have to be on. Wait, Mich Michelle's asking what the – why what's the you know what's what what is this like i, I think i've confused people with what we're saying here it, it's just a challenge it, it's a leroy challenge for me i want to do it for, I, i've never listed for 24 hours straight so for me i want to list for 24 hours straight i want to do at least 10 listings an hour i mean five listings an hour um and i mentioned it to mo and he's like yeah i'm down and then so noelle jumped in she's like oh i would do it so it, it's it's for nothing, Michelle. It's 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 just a fun. Nobody's winning anything. Um, but you know, I would ask I would ask anybody to make a gold. You know, we could call it the gold the twenty four hour gold listing challenge. So you make your own gold. Fifty. So before you do it, you, yeah, you, in the twenty four. Before you do it, you make a gold. Yeah. You know, it's it's My just something to help me. Wait, no caps on right now? Multitask and watch no cap? Hold on. No caps. Are you talking about April 1st? I don't think there's anybody. You're confusing me now, Topher. Multitask and watch no cap. We can do that. I can have stuff run in the background because I'm still be listening. Like, was Dante's watching Mr. Beast? 
I was watching Dante. Yes. I couldn't really care less about Mr. Beast, to be honest, when he had that on. Yeah, um, I was just watching Dante. I was like, okay, I'll I listen just, to you, but and, I can't And I haven't mentioned it to Dante, because I know Dante would jump in if I mentioned it to him. He can jump on your channel. Why not? Now, April, yeah, April 1st. I tell you what, we'll watch reruns of No Cap. I'll play. I'll play a rerun of No Cap if you want, uh, Topher, because I'll be on early. Let's see, April first is a Thursday. Oh man, it's just a little bit over a week. We need to get. We need to get started on this. All right. I know. I that's there. why I brought it up. Thank you for reminding. I think we got. I think. I think we got it all down now. I think okay. we got it down. We're gonna do three channels. What Where time do we start? Permission. Four in the morning? So what, four in the morning for me will be one in the morning for you. Is that too early? No. Okay. Because I told you, I'm going to try. My goal, my personal goal is to do it for 24 hours. Okay. That's my so, goal. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to start it off at four in the morning and then about 4.30 in the morning, you'll see Mo curled up in the ground, the other on the ground there, in the fetal position, and snoring. And I snore loud, so that way you'll know I'm not dead. And then uh, that will go on till about 7 or 8 in the, after, in, in the morning. And then I'll, um, I'll leave the camera on so you guys can yell at me and wake me up. And I think you pull me away from no cap. That's right. I agree. Okay, so, all right, it sounds like a plan. I'll, I'll start a group message for Cameron, Noel, myself, and Leroy. Anybody else wants to jump on, be part of this, let us know, and we'll figure it out. And yeah, and I like I said, I mean, it, it, we didn't come up with a name, and we gotta, we also gotta come up with a thumbnail. Oh, I had, I had, yeah, no, no, I had a because I was inspired by Cameron wearing a unicorn onesie. I was gonna say we should all be wearing onesies, or no. pajama, all right, pajamas of some kind. No. Why not? Ugh, you always have to mess it up. I got a Steelers onesie. I can wear it. I'm well, I gotta go buy snacks. I'm gonna have to go buy snacks and water, and I'm probably gonna be in between home and because I could drive home. It's I literally live two minutes away from my warehouse. Wait, are you gonna have water? Are you gonna have water and coffee? Probably. Uh, he didn't say it. Ah, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna have. What time are the boys coming on? Are they coming on? They come on at what time? Any minute now. Oh, 15 minutes. We're probably gonna. Okay. I'm probably gonna end this in a couple minutes because. Uh, I think they come on at 10 o'clock my time. I think it's one to – it's like two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Topher said you need some Steelers diapers. I'm going to go to the bathroom, Topher. I'm not going to – I'm not like Dante. I'm not going to go to the bathroom in my chair. I'm not mm -hmm. saying he did. Please don't uh, start anything. Get me in trouble. But I, I should I should message Dante. And see if he wants to jump in. Gotcha. But just say, I mean, so we're going to split between the three channels, though, because I don't want to dilute it too much. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, because especially because unless, yeah, we'll see. I want to, because I want to have it, momentum. It's, it's not for any money, um, mm -hmm. but I, I personally would like everybody to submit their gold. Okay. I was and, and, and a respectful goal. Don't say, and, "Oh, I, twenty-four hours. I want to list. Well, I want to list six things." You know the days. reason. You know the reason I thought April first would be perfect, though, right? It's because it's the day that eBay releases the fifty thousand listings or whatever it is. Nice. Everyone gets all those. So, listings. are you going to try to do fifty thousand? <laughs> if I do fifty, it'll be a miracle. I think you could do it. I think you could do it. What fifty one item fifty like uh, fifty quantity fifty thousand? I can do that. I mean, I'd be lying. I don't have fifty thousand of anything. And then, how does that work if you have multiples? 
is it uh, all one off? Uh, you just I brought up a good point. I don't think a multiple counts. I mean, if they're different items, like okay. you know. So I got a question. I yeah. think a multiple should count up to three. Okay. So that 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 we can come. We can when ask. You get the, here's my deal. When yes. you get paid for a multiple, you get paid three different times. True, but our thing is, our goal is to list as many as possible. So I'm not saying that's not correct. What I'm saying is that you could literally have 50 of one item, like, right? I mean, you know, 50 different types of Lego, 50 different, you know, I don't know, whatever's. So, so let's do this. Let's cap it at five. Huh? You can cap it at three or five for hours. Yeah, cap it at three or five. Try, try to do me a favor, because I'm going to be traveling, then I'm going to go get my shot, and who knows if I'm going to be functional after that. I might be twitching. No, no. But um, um, just jot that down, throw it in a text message or a group message on Instagram, Okay. and we'll stay base, see if those three guys are okay with that, and let's try to get some responses by the end of the week. But what I said, I would personally like... I really, I personally would like to see um, outsiders just make a goal for themselves. And yeah. while we do that, so like if Holly said, okay, I want to try to list 50 things in the 24 hours, then that's Holly's goal is to list 50 things. If she has other things to do, that's fine. Yeah. You know, if, if, uh, if, if Anthony says, I want to list 200 baseball cards, then Anthony could do 200 baseball I'll do 200 push-ups. See, Topher said well, multiple quantity counts is one times the amount of work. See, that's what I was trying to get at, is that it's not that it's I know that, but I, I disagree. I disagree. All right. Well, all right, we can discuss. There's four of us. We can vote on it or something. See, Leroy, see, Leroy trying to get the upper hand. That's what I thought, Tracy. He's trying to strong arm me. I see how it goes, Leroy. Well, uh, it's okay. It's Leroy's world. I just live in it. It's Leroy's world. All right. All right. I'm going to send out a message right now then. Can you do a group message on Instagram? Is it, do they have that? Oh, my God. Are you really that dumb? Pretty much. <laughs> I'm not calling them dumb, guys. I'm just teasing them. You can't um, say, are you really that and then say, I'm not calling him dumb. That's literally verbatim what you just said. And I'm, I'm just right teasing you. I know. Well, listen, um, yes. yes, if you go up to Instagram, there's a little pen. There's a little piece of paper and a pen. Okay. Click on that, and then you can keep adding people. Oh. Oh, that's what that's I for. actually taught. I actually taught you something? Wow, yeah. this is amazing. Well, you, you know my rule of that. I have a couple rules. One, no, no reading. It's it's bad for me. And then uh, two, I I don't pay attention to anything. So that includes watching anything or learning anything. So you've taught me how to do this now. Nice. All yeah. right. Let me give my daughter her headphones back. You were wearing you wait you're wearing Patriots headphones. No, I am not wearing Patriots headphones. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go, but I appreciate it. And then maybe we'll see Leroy on Friday as long as he feel, he's feeling up to it. Yeah. And, All guys, right. thank you for everything. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Hopefully you guys can join us on April 1st. Until next time, I'm going. See you, people. We're out.